watching this yeah. coverage, you might be here today thinking, oh my word, Z-list celebrity endorsement. That's right, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. There's, there's, some, there's some proper celebrities here as yeah, well today. Are. We might meet those later. But also the way that we're presenting these cars, all this fun stuff we're doing, you might be thinking, I want to consign my car to the next auction. You've missed this one, but in July, we're doing it all again. Yeah, but do you know, actually, what? I did consign my car for this and auction. Tell, them, tell the people the story. It sold before the auction. I got more than the reserve that I was looking for before the auction. Great, happy days. Yeah. So today... I've got I've got very itchy pockets. I've got yeah. a lot. I've got my uh, got my. Uh, We've my both registered to bid. Up, yeah. Hopefully, Mrs. Cowlin isn't watching because I said I wasn't going to buy anything today. Yeah. I may have lied. Yeah. Why did you Why do you lie? Why don't you be honest about it? Be honest about it. Come on. I just crossed buy my fingers. A buy yeah. A present. Bunch of flowers and a cheap car. That's yeah, what that's that could right. happen later today. But let's go and meet Teresa because she's going to show you how to consign your car. If yep. you like what we're doing, okay, let's and follow. you're thinking, I fancy a bit of that, well, I would like to get following past this Riley. lovely Farina here. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, this, lovely. this is a great car, by the way. We just must talk about this. This is a 1996 restoration on this beautiful magnet, yep. which I think is one of the prettiest MGs. It's a magnet, not a magnet. magnet. Well, it's, it's a, a fanny magnet. And I, I think it's that. a very nice colour. And you're that car, now, aren't you? no, you're saying that. and that car is 25 year old restoration, and I it think it lovely. looks amazing. It does look yeah. amazing, yeah. Right Absolutely. here we go, onwards and upwards. Teresa, where are we going? She's here, look. So Teresa, we're going to come and talk to you because you know what you're on with. So Teresa, if we wanted to consign a car in the next sale for July, so we could come and see you today, or we can ring you up. How do we go about it? You can come across and see me. I'll just take some details of the car and your contact details. Alternatively, you can give us a call, email us to info at manaparkclassics.com or just speak to one of the guys here. We'll get the details and we can give you an estimate for it. So there you go. It's as easy as that. And so all these cars went through that process. They've all ended up here today. And as you can see, the way that the cars get displayed, so normally if you come during a viewing time, if you want to have a look underneath the car, also the team here will do photographs, videos of every single car underneath and that's not normal in the in, in the auction no, world no, it's, it's not normal no. it doesn't happen very often i mean really what we've got here is an opportunity to really look over the cars uh, get here early get here yeah. days early and view the cars if you're consigning your car they'll come and pick it up for you it's so easy to do i did it it was brilliant and you made way over your estimate didn't you i did yeah 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 i made uh, i made a good uh, well, I've got to work out the percentage here, 20% over the, uh, no, more than that, 30% over. It's how he affords to dress so beautifully like this. That's right, that's, yeah. how, that's how I can afford it. I bought myself a new shirt. It looks, looks great. I did, yeah. So other people we can help you with today. So while you're here, you might want some advice on which oil to put in your classic car. Because the mistake, I mean, you're an oil expert as well. You mustn't ever just buy off-the-shelf supermarket oils. You bought your classic car, you think, I might give it a service. Yeah, put Don't, something decent in it. Yes. Yeah. So we've got lovely Trevor here from Castrol. Yeah. We're going to chat to Trevor. character. Literally a slippery character in his period rally jacket, which looks very cool. Good so, Trevor, good the moment afternoon. You, moment you've been dreading, Trevor. So, how's it going today? It's going very well, as usual. We're Excellent. Here, so. Well, so have, have you uh, have you managed to persuade people that uh, they need to uh, cross over to Castro? Oh, always. They, they don't need persuading, usually, Fuzz. There we are. He's see. got free sweets, Fuzz. He's he got has, free yeah. sweets. Look, so you can either get a new uh, oil for your classic car. Minute, that's, that's great, because that, that's not just free sweets. They're Castrol coloured sweets yeah. and you get a sticker with them as well. Yeah, they're rather good. Well, uh, you've got little USB sticks, you've got some very cool merch. So come and see Trev, he will advise you on the oil to put in the classic car that you just bought or are thinking of buying. So he knows everything there is to know. Yeah. And Trev, would you say just selecting the correct oil for a classic car is literally life or death difference, isn't it? Oh yes, definitely. Uh, modern cars, as you know, use modern synthetic oils, uh, and the older cars tend to use monograds and um, multigrades of higher viscosity. So you need to get the oil right in these older cars. And stuff like this, like this beautiful little A40 Somerset here, which I really have taken quite a fancy yeah, to. Yeah, you've got your I, I am, I am yeah. lusting after this little thing because they're not huge amounts of money. So what sort of lubrication system and what type of oil will a car like that use? Well, that car being a, a very basic lubrication system, we use an, what we call an XL30, which is a monograde oil. Um, later cars will tend to use the multigrades like the 2050s, um, but this one will very much be on the, uh, the monograde oil, unless it's had a filter conversion, which is doubtful in a car of that age. Yeah. So, so there you go. basically, with, uh, with the oil that you put in that, you need to, if it doesn't have a filter on it, you need the oil to drop down in the sump uh, so that it can be washed out of the sump 
rather than being carted around the engine yeah. and uh, wearing everything out, out really super quickly. Mate, Fuzz knows everything about oil. This is a great thing about working with a man of such technical expertise. But thank you, Trevor. Yeah. Oh, just one more question. Yep. Are the sweets castor oil flavour? Uh, I wish. Oh, no. Go not. on. Okay. All right. No, I don't, I'm not going to have the sweets. Then you're just trying to... You're just trying to <laughs> Trying to tempt me. Do you tempt you? Teeth. We're talking of tempting you. Do you want to go into that room, Al, and look at this? is an interesting room. So if you've never been to the auction before, thanks, Trev. This yeah. is a room where you can find all the book packs. These are all the documents. It's a little bit quieter. It's like going into the library at school. Come here, stop talking. Uh, this is my job, to talk. Well, it kind look, of every single car that's on sale here, every lot has a number, and that number correlates to a book pack. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. And, and here we can see, look, top secret, our friends from uh, KJF Classics. Look They're having this. a look through a book pack, as all discerning dealers do. And what we're trying to do here, you can pull any book pack you like. Yeah, what you can inspect you like? every invoice, every bit of history, every service look book. Look Hold on, 1966 Austin Mini Estate. This one looks like Bull. it's absolutely jam-packed. So you have can here? come and do this, open this up, look, and inside you will see everything. And, and what will happen is the team will actually have organised this for you. So it's split into V5s. What we do and don't have, there's like a checklist on the front and every bit of paper so you can go through nice and easily. And before you bid, and if you can't be here in person, A, we've got some book pack walkthroughs on the site, and it, there's still time as the auction's going through, give the guys a ring, yeah. they'll pull the file for you, and they'll let you know what's inside. So if you need to know how much money's been spent, which jobs have been done or not been done, it's all in the book pack, and that's why we're here in this room, isn't it? That's right, and it's also part of the fun of buying yeah. an auction, so you actually get to study what you might actually might actually be uh, bidding on a little bit later. It's a bit like archaeology. Don't you love going through old book packs and old service invoices and just finding you'll find a gem like somebody cool owned it or they did something good to it or they did that one upgrade that the car always has to have. It's all in the book pack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you call that carchaeology. Oh, oh do you like that? Because it's new series coming yeah, soon on Disney+. Plus. Right, into the main room. We've got a bit of time left before we start the auction. We've got we 15 all, minutes. On. Don't what, what? forget, it's not all cars. Look at the automobilia. Although that's not strictly speaking automobilia, players that's and That's fagomobilia, isn't it, really? Yes, that's right, yeah. Yeah, Craven A will not affect your throat. I'm afraid I don't think yeah, that was I'm pretty right, sure that was a lie. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, wouldn't be allowed today, would it? Right, so what else we got? Look. So automobilia, which is, on, they're the on. first lots on this. We've got petrol pumps. Look, These look, are going through, pumps. no reserve, all of this stuff. So if you fancy just something to fill up your man cave or she shed, yeah. this would look really good. Fuzz remembers these first time round. Well, do you know, I know a, a petrol, fill, well, a former petrol filling station in Shropshire, and I think to date, there's still one of these standing really? outside. Really? Well, it, yeah. it works. Yeah, well, it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, no, I, don't, I don't think this one works, uh, to be fair, it's either. Actually, it's actually a former pub. I don't even know if the pub's still open, but, you know, one of those one-room pubs, but it also used to sell petrol. Oh, yeah. So you could, you so could convert this with yeah. a lot of work to, to pump, like, real ale or something, couldn't you? That could be quite fun. Should we move on? Yeah. Come on. Into the main hall. We've got 15 minutes before we hand over to our super pro auctioneer, Jules. Yeah, we've got some lovely cars in here. That Look. Hold on, that little panda there I love has that. taken my fancy. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, that's got a very low reserve on it, I think. Low reserve, low mileage as well. Great utilitarian car. Yeah. Lots of front seat options. It's only the 750 fire engine, so it will use about a thimble full of petrol every three weeks. That's right. So if you ever went on, uh, on uh, holiday to maybe uh, Italy or Spain or somewhere like that... You would have bought a shirt like this and driven a car like this. That's right, yeah. yeah. You'd have hired a car like this and pootled around and so you can relive those moments, but right-hand drive. Yeah, very, very cool. I like it's, that. It's, lo it's lovely, actually. 26,000 miles. Can we just talk about this, though, as well? Yeah. Sorrento Green, one of the rarest colours. One of the rarest colours. They only made 200 of these. This has got factory leather, 1.6 GTI. Now, Tolman Motorsport, who are the leading... Uh, 205 people have just done a great kind of recreation of this car. Oh, really? With engine mods, they've done head work and cam work and yeah. all that kind of stuff, taking the 1.6 to a little bit more power than the 1.9. They've done it on a Sorrento Green demo. Yeah. Johnny Smith just done a really cool video about it. And this is very good news. If you think the top of the market for these is 30 to 35 grand, the 1.9 with the low mileage, yeah. this car we've only got reserved 9 to 11, so a third of what the top of the market has been. But the car is beautiful, it's a rare color. The purist would argue the 1.6 is the nicer drive because it's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit snapper on the throttle out the corner. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but, you know, that's the thing. People are, uh, haven't been buying the 1.6s until now. Yeah. Because the 1.9s are just going stratospheric as far yeah. as the, the market for these is concerned. So get one of these now. I you love this car. You will not... You will not regret it. I no, think. I think that's very cool. Yeah. And also, because you ride on a slightly smaller wheel on the 1.6s as well, they handle the bumps a bit better. 
the, the pure is, I've got a few friends who are really into their 205 GTIs, really know what they're doing, prefer the 1.6. So that is a car to bid on and to add to your collection as a discerning collector. Yeah. Should we go into the main hall? Come on, let's yeah. have a look. Let's have a look. People registering to bid all the time, that's always very yeah. exciting. Very let's have a wander through here. I'm going to go and doorstep today. this man, Simon. I want you, this is like a Martin Brundle pit lane walk, We're interviewing this. celebrities. Yeah. So it's my good friend Simon Gregson, of course you may know him as Steve McDonald from Coronation Street. Simon, welcome to Manor Park. Thanks for having me. He's been in the green room obviously eating all the free sweets, but in between that he's been looking at cars. Have you seen anything you like? I've seen a few things that I like actually. I do like the Scimitar, I like the Austin. Which one? We've got about 37 in the sale. The 410, the red and black one. Okay, so yeah, I, uh, I think that a pre-war Austin is a great car to have. I have two pre-war Austins. Get it. You won't regret it. They're I great. You, fun. They're, cooler, it. they're cooler there's than a, anything. There's a lot of countryside near us, and I could just see, you know, the hamper in the back going off into the country with the kids, yeah. football, frisbee, gold, jumpers for goalposts. Yeah. Shall we just say now as well, because hopefully our Emmas aren't watching, there is a, a Bentley 8. The Cat C needs a bit of paintwork, doesn't it? Needs a screen, needs yeah. an MOT. We have just done a gentleman's handshake, haven't we, in, in the green room, that if that car goes for sensible about somebody, we're going to go 50-50 on that. We are indeed, yeah. We're going to get so killed when we get in. We are, but if we bought half each, in legal terms, that's called joint you venture. Bought, yeah. You haven't bought and a the, car? No. You haven't bought, no. We haven't no, bought, bought it yet. Yeah. We haven't, yeah. We bought yeah. half a car, and that's yeah. different. We'll have to draw up some fine print to show them. Yeah. yeah. Bought some parts. So I'll blame him, and he'll blame me. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 it's a good shout. So it's Simon's first time here. I don't think you'll be your last, so do have fun bidding. And obviously, if you're bidding on the Bentley 8, you're bidding against me and him, just saying. Yeah, well, yeah. actually, I'm a little bit disappointed because actually, I was having a little look at that myself. Well, you could go thirds. Was, do you yeah. want to go thirds? Oh, I hadn't Ooh. thought of that. Oh, Time share. Right, Ooh. you could use, oh, this is like a collab, isn't it? Oh, well, can oh, I, oh. I can have it um, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Yeah. What day would you like it? Uh, I'd just like it in the, in the middle of the week because I don't like to work in the middle of the week. Okay. I'll have it yeah. on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. And it's got that sort of chip Sorted. shop owner vibe, you know, chip shop owner that's done really well. Yeah. Successful scrap we'll dealer. Sports jacket oh, the, uh, things on there. I love it. It's a great car. I, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling that. We should bid on that. We'll go, we'll go three ways, if you'll pardon the expression. Well, well, right. get, there we go. Yes, three ways you'll see. Yes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> onwards and upwards. Lovely to see you. Yeah. yeah. Have a nice cup of tea. What's our number? <laughs> right. What do you see that you like? We've got 10 minutes, my friend. 10 minutes okay, to run around these cars. I like? You like well, the pre war things, don't you? I do like the pre war things, but yeah. I've got a little bit of a penchant for oh. the products of Jensen Motors. Okay. You, Should we go it, and have a look at from what, the Should we go and have a Should we go and have a look at one of the products of Jensen Motors here? All right. Let's okay, do it. Can you see it in this hall? Can you see it? It'll be uh, the sunbeam. I'd say the sunbeam. Yes, it is. Yeah. I only know that because my dad had one. Oh, I'm really <laughs> disappointed. I was trying to catch him out there. No. Come on. Hey, what's this? Oh, Fast and Funded. Where is Fast and Funded? Fast we must talk funded. about them. Where are they? Where's Kurt and Linda? So also you can, and I have just done this myself. If you see a car here today, and sometimes we've all been in that position, we find the right car, it's the wrong time, and our pockets aren't quite deep enough to do it. Our lovely friends, Kurt and Linda, Fast and Funded, they're here. They're walking around with Fast and Funded tops on like this. Yeah. They will help you to put the finance together for your dream car. That's right, yeah. Well, I talked to them earlier because there's a car coming up in the next auction that I'm very interested in, but I know that I need a little bit of a, yeah. little bit of a lift up there, and it's very, very reasonable. Because don't be fooled by the way that we're dressed, because people are probably looking at us. You know, I've got my Casio watch on, and I've got my um, Asda jeans. People are thinking, he's doing okay, that guy. Yeah, he's yeah, obviously. Do, yeah. But don't be fooled. Even um, mildly successful TV presenters, we need a bit of finance. That's right. Well, yeah. we're going out busking after this, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you fact. actually do that, don't you? I, well, I used to go busking, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. That's so how yeah. I met George Harrison. But that's really? another story. Yeah. It's not as impressive as Paul McCartney's music teacher's car that was in the last no, sale. No, no. But did you know that Paul McCartney actually featured in an episode of Car SOS recently? I've just found this out today. I've, I've not yeah. caught that one up yet. So yeah. do you, you've had go. loads of celebrities in the last one, haven't you? Uh, David Beckham. Ed Sheeran ended up on the, on the cutting room floor. Well, obviously. Yeah. Just oh, you couldn't know. handle the yeah, we get a, get level of celebrity in that show. I'm going to watch that. It's on Disney Plus, isn't it? It is, yeah. I'm going to watch that when yeah, I get home. You watch it. Yeah, I do. Do you get any royalties from that? Uh, no. Well, we need to have a word with your no. agent, don't we? Yeah, I do. So let's have a look at this grey car from the West Midlands. Well, it's not a car from the West Midlands, really, is it? It's actually a car from, well, I suppose Coventry, 
Well, Coventry well, is actually, in the West Midlands. Well, Coventry kind of is in the West Midlands, but it has an East Midlands accent. And in oh, fact, is it, is it not proper West Midlands? It is. Well, the Coventry is in the West Midlands conurbation. It's yeah. in the West Midlands county. However. I don't really think of it like that. If you've no, just tuned in, very interesting. if you've we just tuned into the, the live, we welcome to Geography Today with Fuss Townsend. We can talk about Coventry becoming part of the West Midlands on April the 1st, 1974, and at the same time, its corporation bus fleet got absorbed into the West Midlands Passenger Transport mm. Executive Fleet, Ooh. and uh, so their buses no, went from... Carry on, I, I always Ivan. yawn when I'm interested. You carry on. All right, okay, yeah. anyway, look, we better stop the exciting stuff, and let's talk about this car. This beautiful, yeah, it is. It's not an Alpine, though, is it? It's not because it's an Alpine stuffed with V8. That's right. How did they get it in? Well, it's amazing. So my dad had one of these. They make the most wonderful noise you've ever heard. They're not that yeah. fast. They're only about 170 brake. Well, that's really because of the way they're geared. Yeah, as but well. They just make the most wonderful noise. So if you're bumbling along in one of these, they race quite a few of them in period. In fact, my dad's one used to be a race yeah. car before he got it. Yeah. And he put it back to a road car. But this is a particularly pleasant colour. This is kind of like a thinking man's AC Cobra. So you've got British sports body, V8 yes. engine at the front, yep. but you've got a bit more room for your luggage in the back. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that these were a great idea. They should have made many, many more of them. Yeah. In fact, this is what they ought to have made in the first place. Really. But they got killed off, obviously, because with the various uh, mergers and takeovers, obviously having that engine in the front wasn't yep. politically a great idea, was no, it? No, it wasn't. So, uh, so only a very limited time. What was it, 64 to 67? Yeah, it's a very short production run. So yep. that makes them very rare. They're not normally in a right-hand drive bodily this nice. All the nice cars seem to be left-hand drive imports because the British one's obviously rusted. This one has either had an exceptional life and a nice repaint or a full body resto. And it's really, really cool, isn't it? Got the dash with all the gauges matching. Yeah. It just screams to me like a lot of value. We've got this estimated at 40 to 45. That's inexpensive for one of these. I've seen these goes into the 60s. That's right. But if you like your, if you like, if you've driven an Alpine, you'll know that it, it's a sports car look without the sports car performance. Yeah. Whereas this can give you that performance. It's up there. So I think this is a, a great little car, and I like it. Yeah, on, you, choose, you choose a car. Come but on. Also, well, I'm going to choose the one next to us, actually. My um, geek nerd facts are the Sunbeam Alpine, the car on which this is based. Yeah. It's the first Bond car, of course. Yes, that's right. From Dr. No. Dr. No, Dr. Yeah. no, he drives a hired car that they rented for the day for the film in the film. So the first yeah. Bond car is one of these. So forget your Aston Martin DB5. Forget your Vanquish. That's the first Bond car. Right. Now, yeah. I actually... I've seen I've seen a vehicle that I like. Go on, but it's a bit pricey. Go on, let's have a look. But Come on. Is it a Lagonda per chance? No, no, no. There's somebody over there who can help us. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I like your yeah, style. You see, oh, you that, was that, smooth, that was smooth, mate. That was smooth. That was a smooth link. Yeah, that's what you call a professional TV presenter. broadcaster, Fuzz Townsend. Right, Kurt okay, Bradbury. Right, Kurt from Fast, Fast and Furious here. The guys from Fast and Furious <laughs> are here. Come Fast on and in. funded. That's some fun so <laughs> completely. <laughs> he went com street racer. Oh, I see. Right, right, I guys. Did, that, did that brilliant link in and then I flopped it. Was, it. it was so good. It was going so yeah, well to yes. the end. So here's well, the scenario. You're looking at cars that you can't afford, which is what all of us spend all day doing. Kurt, you are the man that's going to help these wonderful people into their dream car. You've just done it for me. I've literally just bought the world's nicest 997 GTS. And Kurt put the money together for me on a very reasonable monthly payment, yep. which I couldn't have afforded. I didn't have the money to do it. And now I have that car on my drive. Yeah, pretty much every car in here is fundable. Um, so if anybody wants any numbers, there's Steve here, Linda's here, Mark's here, or grab myself and uh, we'll run you some numbers. But you'll be surprised how little a month these are. So you can do it over just over a couple of years. So it's just like a little cushion to help you do it over... Uh, four or five years, so it, it can act as a nice little cushion just to get you uh, get you to where you need to be. Yeah, and hopefully, the um, if these cars appreciate, like we all hope they will do, the uh, the the cost will be swallowed up by the appreciation. So, win-win. So it's almost free. It is. Well, you could say that. Because <laughs> if you think normally when you're financing uh, current cars, if you go to the car showroom today, buy yourself a new car, if you can wait the seven months to get one, then obviously those cars depreciate and you're still paying the finance and the interest charges on those. And as Kurt says, what happens with a classic, you know, you'll either flatline or if you're lucky, it'll, it'll go up. And then all your interest charges get taken away, as you say. That's right, yeah. So I think, I think it's a great idea. I, I've all... Tomorrow. Yeah. Why wait till tomorrow? We're here all the time. I'm going yeah. to have one of them one day, and that day never comes. So just do it. Yeah. 
live for today, invest for tomorrow. Because, you know, if you're old like Fuzz, you just you don't know how long you've got left, really. So you might, as well, get, you might as well get the car you really want that's now. That's very kind of you. Actually, yeah. I do sometimes feel old, you know. I mean, if, if you uh, saw me get up in the morning, you'd think, my God, that good-looking <laughs> guy suddenly has aged. But Because, uh, I mean, I don't think people realise, that you know, because you have, you know, worn very, very well. You're actually probably older than people think. Uh, yeah, well, I probably have. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. Should we, uh, should we get on to something There was a compliment else? in there somewhere. Yeah, kind of. Well kind hidden. Of, but I don't, I don't well hidden it compliment. It didn't feel like a compliment. Uh, so what they call it's a backhanded compliment, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've got, according to my uh, Cassio, we've got four minutes left before we uh, hand over to Ace Auctioneer Jules. Look, he's just having a cheeky sandwich. Look at that, yeah. Or is it a banana? A banana. A banana, yeah. He's, he's yeah. getting full of potassium, ready to go. That's right. He's going to need his energy because that guy works non-stop talking yeah. for longer than you do. I mean, you talk, oh, but Jules, yeah. he's, he's working, he's, and he's good. He's one I'm of the finest in the business, if not the finest. We're very yeah. lucky to have him. So thank That's you very much, Fast and Funded. Do either come and see them. If you're not here, if you're watching this online, uh, check them out, fastandfunded.co.uk. And they are good. They can finance anything. And you can do what's called a balloon payment. So if you're trying to get like a sensible monthly figure, yep. and aren't we all, yes. you can leave some of it to the end like you can on a modern car. You can do that on a classic. So there well, you go. I didn't know that either. I oh, know. So you make yeah. it even cheaper. Wow, well, that's you really You can be driving around for a few hundred Ooh. quid in like big ticket items. Yeah. That's what I'm all about. But we need to talk about these two, don't we? These absolutely beautiful SLs. This is probably, you know, these come up in this condition on in right-hand drive once well, a year. I was going to say right-hand drive original right-hand drive as yeah. well. So if you really want one of these, that's a once a year opportunity, if that, and in that condition, maybe once every five years, I've seen yeah. them come up. That's now, a beautiful car. Interesting fact, let's go back to Jensen's again. Okay. See these little uh, flutes and flares along the side there? Yeah. Right, well. Wasn't that the title of your third album? Flutes and Flares? Yeah. Yeah, it was actually. Yeah. I don't know, that's actually what was on the album, <laughs> and on the album cover. Yeah. But no, those, those uh, flutes, everybody thinks Mercedes. Mercedes came up with that. Yeah. However, I would like to argue that if you look at the Jensen 541, yeah. uh, the first one came out in 1953, but later ones all had these, uh, these little flutes, I think before these came out. So, so basically, Germany was influenced by the Wismidlings. That's right, yeah. yeah. It's all about the West Midlands. It Just is, remember it? You that, should be yeah. like mayor of Coventry. So you, I love the way that you're always advocating for your fellow citymen. That's right, yeah. yeah. Well, Great yeah. place. Yeah. It's yeah. like out of Detroit, though, Coventry, isn't it? I, I suppose it is, yeah. Well, decimated. <laughs> <laughs> right. With the last two minutes we've got left before we hand over to Jules, he's finished his banana. Jules, you can just see on him. TV, of course. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. He is by far the most professional broadcaster here. Yeah. I want to talk about this first, because this is a bit lovely. We talk about patina a lot on our television show. And mainly the presenters. Yeah. But this, I think, is the most wonderful example of a patinated series Land Rover I have ever seen. I've never seen aluminium age so beautifully. Have you? I absolutely love these cars. In fact, when I was 18, I swapped my uh, swapped my mum's Ford Fiesta 1.1L, which was only about two or three years old at the time, for an 80-inch Land Rover, a 1950 Land Rover. I absolutely love these, and I would love this to come home with me. Well, this, you could, you know, you've just seen Kurt, he could put your line of credit I in could, place. Yeah. This is estimated at 36 to 40,000 pounds. I think that represents very good value for a series Land Rover. It's a 53, it's by far, the, I think, the nicest aged car I have ever seen. So if you do want one, that's a very nice one. The guys have driven it, it's lovely, it's all there, it's got its tilt and bows. It's just a nice thing. Yeah, it is absolutely lovely. And I think something that you can use, enjoy, and uh, I don't think it'll depreciate, really. No, I don't think it will either. But first, I've had a lot of fun walking around, but we should really hand over to the man that makes it all happen, the man that's now clipping his microphone in. Are you ready, Jules? <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. He's ready. Oh, so look at that dear, booming voice. Oh, amazing. Booming voice. So, guys, thanks for watching our ramblings. Now over to the man, the legend, the myth, Julian. Well, I'm not really any of those things, but thanks very much indeed, gentlemen, for that very warm introduction. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're very welcome, of course, here in our own bespoke facility at Runcorn Manor Park Classics. If you've never been before, I hope you're enjoying your day out. If you've been with us before, coming again to buy another car, well, again, you're very welcome indeed. Uh, it's our own 30,000 square foot premises here in Cheshire. It's all set out to reduce the risk and anxiety for buyers and sellers alike. Vehicles can be delivered uh, and collected at the customer's ex uh, convenience without any of the usual restrictions and constraints of a hired venue. So we're not actually part of that mobile circus uh, of auction houses. We're based and fixed here uh, in Cheshire. 
This enables us to offer an extended viewing period all the way through, including evening and weekend viewing. And we had over 100 people actually come through on Thursday to view the cars. I know very many of you are here that you were already here on Thursday for an extended view. So all you need to do is just let us know when you want to come down. Like I said, evenings and weekends prior to the sale. The on-site facilities here allow all the vehicles to be run and driven. You'll see there on the, uh, the videos uh, that are available on our website and on social media as well. We have a fantastic social media channel, lots of updated uh, videos with the vehicles moving, running and driving. We have a four-post inspection ramp as well. That allows us to take very many detailed photographs. Uh, again, they're all on the website. There's a full portfolio of photographs for every vehicle that we offer for sale. Fire safety, I will just um, warn you all, ladies and gentlemen, if the fire alarm does go off, that won't be a drill at all. We will expect you to evacuate the sale room. Uh, fire exits are at reception. Also to my right as well, that leads you out into the main uh, car park. Um, and you can go out through the rear of the building via the office areas as well. There's an assembly point, that's at the front gate. We have on-site toilet facilities. Ladies, gents, and there are accessible toilets as well. They're just through the office areas where you've been looking through the documents file and registering to bid. And just to remind you, if you haven't registered, please do look sharp. We always have a very long queue at this kind of time of day. So if you're looking to bid on the first few cars in the sale, please get yourself through to bidder's registration. We sell under the terms and conditions which are available online during the online registration process. And also that we'll print it here if you've registered with us today. Please make sure you're familiar with those terms of business. Um, they are available, printed out there in the office areas, and they are at the entrance of the building as well. There's buyer's premium today in the sale. We do have some automobilia that kicks the sale off. Premium on the automobilia is 18%, including VAT, so that's 15% plus the VAT, uh, subject to a minimum charge of £6. We have one motorcycle in the sale. Uh, that is 18% commission plus, v uh, including VAT as well, subject to a minimum charge of £60. And the motor cars in today's sale, uh, the premium on those, including the VAT, is 15%. Minimum charge applies to the cars of £180. Now, we operate a provisional bidding system here at Manor Park Classics. If you've been before, you'll understand how that works. But if it's your first time here with us, what that means is it allows me, the auctioneer, to submit the high bid. If we don't reach the reserve, we submit that to the vendor for an answer, a yes or a no, to see if they're actually willing to sell the car at that lower price than their reserve. So, if the vehicle is only selling provisional, I'll keep you informed of that. The hammer does not fall if it's provisional, but I will take your paddle number, or I will take your number on the internet as well. We'll have a word with the vendor, see if we can actually get a deal done for you. Once the car's on sale, I'll let you know it's on sale, and obviously the hammer does fall uh, just in the normal auction if the car is sold outright. But I'll let you know where we are on each individual vehicle as we run through the sale. Removal of vehicles, as you can tell, they're all crammed into the auction room here. We can't get the vehicles away until the end of the sale. It's, I expect to take about three hours or so before we finish. Once we get to the end of the sale, we can start to get you away. If you can't take the vehicle away at the end of today's sale, if you're su successful in purchasing one, we do offer a week's free storage. Uh, so that should give you plenty of time to arrange some transport, either yourself or another transport provider. And we are open tomorrow on Sunday between 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock if you want to remove your cars at that point in time as well. We do have transport partners in attendance today. If you want to have a word with them, they can organize uplifting your vehicle and taking it to your premises or indeed a storage facility if you prefer that. Our partners are here as Fuzz and Paul have already done a little meet and greet with them. Uh, I'll keep that brief. We've got Haggerty Insurance. They can uh, insure any vehicle uh, if you buy one here in today's sale. They will offer you a discount as well on that price, so please do have a word with them. Fast and Funded are here. They can finance uh, any vehicle, again, that you were w looking to buy, and they can refinance any portfolio, portfolio of cars that you have as well. So please do have a word with Fast and Funded. We've got Classic Castrol Oils here as well. They can advise you on the type of oil you need to put in any of the classics that you're running. We'll try and get the results online for you as soon as we possibly can after the auction, probably at some point during tomorrow. Please note the auction is being filmed today, including inside the room. Now, that's no bother for me. I'm supposed to be here. I'm being paid to be here. But if you should have been at work here on uh, Saturday and you want to keep a low profile, you've told the boss that you're a little bit ill today, you had a bit of COVID, but you're actually here buying a car, let us know. We'll push you away from all those cameras. Or we'll give you a cunning disguise, one or the other. 
Our next live auction will be July. We've already had uh, over 20 entries for that particular auction. A couple of them are in the sale room. We've got the uh, Mulliner Park, Park Ward Rolls Royce there up on the ramp. Underneath, we've got a really nice Alvis TE21 as well. So like I said, please do keep an eye on the, uh, on the website. Those cars will be going on. Got over 20 of them consigned so far. Anyway, back to today's sale. So we'll kick off. We've got a batch of automobilia, which has come with some of the vehicles in today's sale. So we'll start off with lot one. There we are. No reserve on these, by the way, either. They are all here to sell. Lot one, collection of four French signs. There we are. Nothing on my book, no reserve. You start me away, ladies and gentlemen. Where do you want to be on the four French signs? Start me at 20 pounds. Start me at 20 pounds, surely where? On the four French signs, 20 bid, thank you, sir. Right in the center room there at 20 pounds, only bid at 20. And they're on sale, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake at all, at just 20 pounds. Next bid's 25 if you want to come in anywhere else. 25, got your fresh bidder. 30 if you like, sir, 30 pounds. And five, 40, and five, 50, and five, 60. Nope, you're out, sir. At 60 pounds only bid, right in the middle of the room at 60 pounds. Coming in anywhere else if you like, ladies and gentlemen, please give me a shout if I'm missing you anywhere. I'm selling away on the signs then at just 60 pounds in the room. Yours, sir, 269. Thank you, 269, 60 pounds. Nearly forgot there, Tom. I'm supposed to write them down, aren't I? Lot two, pair of oval railway signs. There we are, oval signs, cast iron one and an aluminium one there, I believe. 21, if anybody lives at number 21, there's a great number for the front door, isn't it? Number 21, you might struggle to open the door after that. It is cast iron. There we go, being modeled by Fuzz in a fashion. <laughs> you don't get the shirt, by the way. It's only the two signs that we're selling there. Uh, start me away again, 20 pounds on the pair of signs. Cast iron sign there and an aluminum one. Railway signs, 20, thank you. Bid in the room. We're off and running at just 20 pounds, bid at 20. Five again if you like anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen. 25, I've got you again, sir. 30 on the wall. 35, 40 bid. And five, 50. No, I'll stay in those five pound notes. If anybody else wants to come in at 50 pounds only bid on the pair of signs at 50. Finishing done again, ladies and gentlemen. Selling away at just 50 pounds in the room. Sold away at 50. Just need your number there, sir. Obviously not expecting to buy that one. You didn't have your paddle ramp ready. 222, two, two. thank you. 222 two, two. at 50 pounds. Next lot is lot three. There we are. The uh, We Sell Royal Standard Paraffin sign. There we are. No reserve at all. Just needs a bit of a polish, that one, doesn't it? Start me at 20 pounds again on the sign if you want it, ladies and gentlemen, at just 20 pounds. On the paraffin sign, then at 20. Nobody wants her at 20. Thank you, sir. Five at the back. 30. Five. 40. No, at 40 pounds, only bid at 40. Can take you now for another five pound note at 40 bid. Finishing done in the room, you're absolutely sure. Selling away then, I'll write sale at 40 pounds only. Yours again, sir, 269, thank you, at 40 pounds. Next lot is a lot four, there we are. There's a pair of them there, the cigarette signs, players and drumhead cigarettes there. Interest here on my book starts you at 45, 50 bid. At 50 pounds, bid with me at 50, on the pair of signs at 50. Five, sixty, five, seventy. Thanks you bids anyway. It's 70 pounds only I have bid at 70. On commission then, ladies and gentlemen, against you all. Make no mistake at all, it's just 70 pounds. Finish and done, are you? You're all out in the room on my commission book then at 70 pounds only I'm selling away. Sold away at 70 this time. That is uh, 3017 at 70 pounds. Next lot is lot five, pair of signs again there, at cost and old Calabar, there we are, old Calabar. Dog, poultry and game foods. Start me away, nothing on my book, start me away at 20 pounds. On the pair of signs, everybody's hands should be in the air, surely yours sir at 20 pounds, thank you. At 20 pounds only bid at 20, five, fresh bidder, 30, five, 40, five, 50. No, nope, you're sure, sir. Take another five pound note from anybody else. Pair of signs there at just 50 pounds. Bid in the room, finish and done everywhere else. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, at 50 pounds. Five, internet now, sir. It's not fair, is it, the internet? Just when you thought you had them slipping through your fingers at 55 pounds. Can't tempt you for 60, back in. Back in in the room at 60 pounds against your clients, Thomas. At 60 pounds I have, finish and done. Fair warning, 70. Internet bidder, sir, against you. Five, thank you, I'll stay in those five pound notes at 75 pounds only bid. Against you on the World Wide Web, please look sharp at home, don't want to miss you. You think they're finished and done there, Tom? 80, 
Thanks to your bids anyway in the room. At 80 pounds, I have. On the internet then, selling away against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at 80. <laughs> Sold away at 80 pounds. Your bidder this time, Tom. 689. Gosh, that's a low number. 689, they've been on the internet forever. Longer than I've been alive, maybe. Who knows? That one's yours there, George. Thank you. Uh, lot six, there we are. Craven A, cigarette advertising sign. Interest here on my commission book starts you at 45, 55 bid. At 55 pounds bid with me at 55, 65, 75, 85, 95. Oh dear me, sir. 105. No, 105 pounds bid with me at 105. 110, 120, 130. I'm out now. Ladies bid at 130 pounds. At 130 pounds in the room, coming in on the internet if you like, or anywhere else in the room, give me a shout if I'm missing you at 130 pounds. Finishing done then at 130. <laughs> Sold your Sammy. Is that to cover up some of the cracks in the living room? Yeah, not a bad idea. 130, sold away to number 77. Lot seven, ladies and gentlemen. Players, navy cut cigarettes. There we are. Quite a nice sign there, actually. Interest here starts you. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, 75, 80 bid. At 80 pounds, bid with me at 80. On the cigarette sign. 85, 90. Still with me, Tom. At 90 pounds, bid at 90. Still against you at home at 90 pounds. Five, 100. Still with me at 100 pounds, bid at 100. Against you at home, ladies and gentlemen. Against you in the room, 110, 120. Still on my commission book at 120 pound bid. At 120, nice sign here at 120 pounds. Coming in again if you like in the room, ladies and gentlemen, please shout. Like I said, got a packed sale room here. 130, thank you, Tom, 140, still with me. Still against you at home, I'm afraid. At 140, I have. Give you a, a moment to think. At 140 pounds, absolutely sure. Fair warning then, from your auctioneer this time, selling away at 140. Sold away at 140, my commission bidder this time, which is 3017. Lot 8, Lion's Cake, single sided enamel sign. There we are, let's have a look. No reserve, nothing on my book. Start me away. Where do you want to be? Is she worth 20 pounds, sir? 20 on the internet. At 20 pounds, bid on the World Wide Web against you all in room. 25, internet against internet bidding now at 25 pounds. Still with Tom there at 25, 30. You're all still out in the room at 30 pounds, bid now. 35. At 35, all the activity on the World Wide Web, ladies and gentlemen, 40 pounds. At 40 pounds, only bid at 40. Five, got you now in the room, sir. Managed to get you in, 50. Still on the internet against you, I'm afraid. Five, if you like, again, 55 bid. At 55 pounds, bid in the room now. You're all out on the World Wide Web, 60. Five again, if you like, and five. In the room, Tom, I've taken the room bidder at 65. Please bid quickly at home, don't want to miss you. At 65 pounds, bid, 70. Five, still going at 75 pounds in the room at 75. Oh, are you all finished on the World Wide Web now? At 75 pounds I have, gentlemen's been in the room. Fair warning at home, selling away this time at 75. <laughs> Sold away, that was 222, wasn't it? 75 pounds. 222. Next lot, lot nine, single-sided, Oldham Batteries enamel sign. Interest here starts you at just 30 pounds, straight in at 30. I told them it's Oldham at 30 pounds, 35, 40. Still with me at 40. Five if you like, Tom. 45, 50. Still with me on my commission book at 50 pounds. 55, 60. Five, sir, I've got you in the room. Thanks for your patience. At 65 pounds, 70. Five. At 75 pounds, bid now at 75. 80. You sure? Thanks anyway, sir. At 80 pounds. 85. Still going on the World Wide Web at 85 pounds. 90. At 90 pounds, bid now at 90. Can't keep up. 95. That's what I mean about bidding quickly at 95 pounds. Fill it up to 100 if you want her at home or anywhere else in the room or I will sell her away. On the olden battery sign at 95 pounds she's going. <laughs> Sold away at 95, yours this time, Tom. 689 again, thank you. On the World Wide Web, lot 10, double-sided. Oh, it says Empire Lamb Oil here in your catalogues, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually Empire Lamp Oil. I don't believe I've ever oiled a lamb. Not to my knowledge, anyway, but there we go. Interest here on commission starts you 35, 40 bid. At 40 pounds, bid with me at 40. At 40 pounds only. Maiden commission bids, 45, 50. Still with me, Tom, at 50 bid. At 50 pounds only, bid at 50. On my commission book, against you at home and against you in the room. 55, telephone, 60 bids, still with me, I'm afraid. 65, 70, George. 75, 80. 
five is your bid on the telephone at 85 pounds against all my commissions now at 85 pounds. Finish and done in the room, are we? Finish and done at home, selling away. Telephone bidder at 85 pounds. She's going. <laughs> Sold at 85. Room number 1,000. 85 pounds. Lot 11, ladies and gentlemen, single-sided, Castro Wakefield, motor oil sign. No reserve at all, but I do have quite a few bids on this. I'm in at uh, 65, 70 bid. Nice sign here at 70 pounds, only bid at 70. On the Wakefield, Castro motor oil at 70 pounds with me. Against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at 70 pounds. 75, 80. Still with me at 80 pounds. 85, 90. Still on my commission book at 90 pounds. Not what you want to hear, I know, but at 90 pounds, bid with me at 90. Five. 100, still on my commission book at 100 pounds, bid at 100. Still against you in the room, 110, 120. At 120 pounds, you sure? Roger's not paying you enough. At 120 pounds, only bid with me at 120. I know he's not paying me enough, that's for sure. 120 pounds bid. Coming in again if you like anywhere else. At 120, you're absolutely sure in the room. You're sure at home as well, selling away at 120 on commission. 130 from nowhere, the internet. 140. At 140 pounds, bid with me at 140. At 140 bid, finish and done. Absolutely sure at home. Fair warning from your auctioneer at 140, I'm selling away. <laughs> Sold away at 140, that is 3017 again. Sold at 140. Lot 12, double sided one here. Fill up with BP. Uh, quite a lot of bids here. I'm straight in at 90, 100, and 10, 120. At 120 pounds bid, loads of commissions on this one at 120 pounds. Double-sided, ladies and gentlemen, at 120. 130, 140. Still with me, 150, 160. 170, 180. 190, my commissions are out. With George now at 190 pounds. Can take you now at home or in the room if you like. Fill it up somewhat, two bids. 210 if you like, 210. <laughs> 210 at 210, it's not fair, is it? At 210 pounds. Must be right, though. Everybody wants, all the staff want this one at £210 bid. Are you coming back in, George? No, at £210 with Carlos. Make no mistake at all. 220 internet, that sorted you all out. <laughs> 225. 225 says the gentleman in the room at £225 bid against you on the World Wide Web. 230. Oh, go on then. 235. 235 pound bid at 235 against you at home at 235 pounds. Finish and done. Last chance at home. Fair warning from your auction. 240. Come on, Carlos. Have a wit. Tell, tell Willie yours your fiver and put your hand in the air again. At 240 bid, 245. There you go. Will, you're buying parts of it. You own a little square. At 245 bid. Finish and done then. Absolutely sure. Selling away at 245. Sold at 245. And they've got no paddle number, 55. Sold away at 245 pound. Nice sign there, actually, nice sign. Lot 13, single-sided. This is an aluminium one, shell lubrication sign there. No reserve, start me at 10 pounds. Bid everywhere, 15, 20, 5, 30, standing bidder. 35, 40, sir, 40, standing bidder still at 40. Coming in anywhere else if you like. 45, got you right at the back, 50, 5, 60. Five, thank you, sir. 70, five, 80, five, gentlemen, right at the back, 90, five, 100, and 10, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. I'll stay in 10 pound notes for you, sir. 210, 220, 230, 240. Nope, thanks for your bits anyway, much appreciated. At 240 pounds in the center of the room. Can you get anywhere else if you like? At 240 pounds, you're all finished and done and selling away. Yours, sir, number 30 at 240 pounds, sold away. Lot 14, ladies and gentlemen, petrol pump this time. No reserve on it, it's a Bowser one. These are made in America, aren't they, the Bowsers, I think. Not a bad old pump there. No reserve at all, where do you want to be? Start me away, ladies and gentlemen. Shout me out. Is she worth 50 pounds? Old Bowser pump there. Start me away at 50. Thought you were bidding, sir. Just scratching your head there. I thought I was selling the, sign, uh, the pump to you there. Start me away at 50. 20 pounds then. Here to sell. 20. 5. 30. 5. 
40, 5, 50, 5, no, at 55 pounds, 60, I've got you now, fresh bidder at 60 pounds, 7, 65, sorry sir, 70, no, you're out, thank you, at 70 pounds, only bid against the wall at 70, coming in again, 75, internet now, 80, against you Tom, at 80 pounds, I have been in the room at 80, finishing done at the back, finishing done at home as well, selling away this time, at just 85, right at the death. Against you, sir, 90, thank you. Back in the room at 90 pounds, bid at 90. 95 if you want, Tom, or I'm selling away at 90 pounds. She's going in the room, five, fresh bidder. 100 if you like. Currently at 95 pounds, the two gentlemen, 100. And 10, thank you, at 110 pounds, bid at 110. You're still out on the Bowser pump at 110 pounds bid. On my right, no, nope, shaking your head at 110 pounds. Give me a shout, ladies and gentlemen, or I'm selling away at 110 pound, 120, fresh bidder. Ooh, sorry about that, gentlemen, 130. No, nope, at 130 pounds bid now, finishing done, I'm selling away at 130 in the room. You bought it, gentlemen, at 130. Just need your paddle number, please. 130. 221, thanks very much indeed in the room. 221. Ooh, where are we next? Slot 15. Gilbert and Barker, garage, four-court pump. There we are. Another nice pump there for you. Nothing on my book. Where do you want to be, ladies and gentlemen? Start me at 50 pounds on the pump. Start me at 50. Ooh, you're a hard bunch. 50 bid. At 50 pounds bid on the World Wide Web. At 60, got you in the room. Checking the gentleman in the room there, Tom, at 60 pounds. You're both out on the internet at 60, 70. Internet bidder against you, 80 bid, thank you, in the room at 80. You're still both out on the internet at 80 pounds, only bid at 80, 90. Internet bidder, 100, back in the room at 100 bid. 110, ladies bid now at 110 pounds. 120, I've taken the gentleman in the room again, Tom. 130, no, nope, thanks anyway, sir, at 130 pounds, only bid at 130. 140, World Wide Web, 150. Back in the room at 150 pounds, bid at 150. At 150 pounds. Ladies bid in the room, 160 internet, 170, back in the room. Little nod of the head at 170 bid. Against you all on the internet, fair warning this time, from your auctioneers selling away in the room, on the pump at 170. Sold too slow at 170 pounds. Please bid quicker at home, 77. Uh, paddle 77 at 170. Please bid quickly at home. Don't want to miss your bids at all. Another one for you there, George. Lot 16, Lister, stationary engine. There we are, no reserve at all. Um, one and a half, half horsepower I've got down here. Offered for restoration, the stationary engine. They are nothing on my book. Where do you want to be? What's she worth, do you think, Fuzz? Is she worth 50 pounds? Decent bit of kit there. Start me away on the stationary engine. Start me away at 20 pounds then. Surely where? Start me away. To, I'm amazed Fuzz isn't coming running out now desperately to buy it for 20 pounds. Bid on the World Wide Web at 20 pounds, only bid at 20. On the stationary engine, I will sell her away. No reserve at all. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, you're missing out here. You'll be talking about this one back on the M6 on the way home at 20, 30 pounds. At 30 pounds, only bid at 30. Let's see if we can get another fiver. At 30 pounds, only bid at 30. Coming in again, if you like, on the list of stationary engine, 35. Thank you, Atom. Thanks very much indeed at 35 pounds. One and a half horsepower, list of stationary engine, for restoration at just 35 pounds. Finishing done then, selling away, 40. Got you, sir. Thank you. Fresh bidder in the room. You're both out, I'm afraid, Tom. At 40, I have. Gentleman's been in the room. Fair warning, Atom. Selling away for just 40. <laughs> Stolen that one, sir, at just 40 pounds. Nice buy there at paddle number 35. Sold away at 40 pounds. Lot 17, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the uh, automobilia. Always popular, the automobilia, George, isn't it? I think we should have a bit more of it in, to be, to be absolutely fair. Lot 17, the 1970 Velo Solex, there we are, the S3800, offered with the original bill of sale, ladies and gentlemen, selection of spare parts with her as well. Little 50cc, you can pedal her if you want, but a little 50cc uh, motor on her there. She's with the French papers. It's very easy to register these. We can help you out with the registration as well. Please don't let that put you off at all. Has the uh, rare panniers as well. 
Um, let's have a look. Interest here starts me away at uh, 253 bid, at 300 pounds bid with me at 300. On the Velo Solex at just 300 pounds bid, and it's against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at 300. Absolutely no reserve at 300 bid. On the Velo Solex then at 300 pounds. It's against you all in the room. Give me a shout if I'm missing you anywhere at 300, 350. I've got you 400. Still with me at 400 bid. At 400 pounds, and you're out, I'm afraid, in the room. Thanks for your bids anyway. At 400 pounds, on the Velo Solex. You're absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, at just 400 pounds. Last chance then, against you all, no reserve then, selling away at just 400 pounds only. Sold away at 400, that is 349. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, it's lot 18. We're onto the cars now, ladies and gentlemen, onto the cars, lot 18. That is the 2003 Rover 75. It's the long wheelbase Connoisseur SE. Now, I'd be very surprised if any of you has come across one of these cars before. Long wheelbase, believed to be one of only 100 ever produced. MOT to this July, it has 2.5 litre V6 engine. Very high spec as well. Little bit, of, there's no reserve on it whatsoever. I do have a little bit of interest here, slightly embarrassing, but I can start it at 260, 280, 300. At just 300 pounds bid with me at 300. On the Rover Connoisseur at 300 pounds bid. She's on sale straight away. 350 is that, Tom. Thank you. At 350, 400. Internet against internet bidding at 400 pounds, 450. Still going at 450 pounds bid at 450, 500. At 500 pounds, against you all in the sale room, ladies and gentlemen, at 500 pounds, only bid at 500, 550. Fresh bidder in the room now. Both your clients are out, Tom, at 550 bid in the room, 600 and 50. At 650 pounds, bid at 650. 700 and 50. At 750 pounds, bid at 750. 850. Straight back at you on the internet at 850 pounds. No hesitation in the room at 850. 900 and 50. Still going at 950. No reserve whatsoever, ladies and gentlemen. 1,000. I'll stay in those 50s. 1,050. Beg your pardon. 1,050 bid. 1,100 if you like, ladies and gentlemen. It's currently at 1,050 pounds bid in the room. 1,150. Straight back at you again at home at 1,150 bid. Gentlemen's bid in the room at 1,150. Against you on the World Wide Web. Make no mistake at all. You'll never see another one of these, I'm absolutely sure. Certainly not in this color combination. Anyway, at 1150, <laughs> coming in again if we like anywhere else, you'll stand out driving this one, either being chauffeured or chauffeuring. At 1,150 pounds selling away in the room. Oh, <laughs> that was the last possible moment there. 12 bid and 50. No. <laughs> At 1250, you just did that on purpose. At 1250 pounds, finished and done selling at 1250. Sold yours, sir, at 1250 pounds only bid. That is number 69, number 69 at 1250. There we are. Lot 19 in your catalog, ladies and gentlemen. Lot 19 is the 1989 Ford Escort XR3i Cabriolet. Uh, has been subject to a previous restoration a couple of years ago. MOT till this November. RS Turbo body kit and wheels. She looks fabulous with that kit and wheels on. Uh, fully operational hood on her as well with the hood cover. Original Recaro's on her as well. There we are. No advisories on that MOT, as I say, to this November. Interest here starts you at four and a half bid. At four and a half thousand pounds bid with me at four and a half thousand. On the Escort Cabrio at four and a half thousand pounds bid. Against you all in the room, ladies and gentlemen, at just four and a half thousand. A lot of motor car here for just four and a half thousand pounds. Coming in anywhere else if you like at just four and a half. Five if you five bid. Five hundred. Still with me at five and a half thousand pounds, bid at five and a half thousand. I'll take it. Seven fifty. Six thousand. You're both out at six thousand pounds. Bid with me at six thousand. Against both of you at six thousand pounds. On the escort then. Absolutely sure. Finish and done in the room, are you? Shaking your head. Shaking your head towards the back as well. Two fifty. Is your bid at £6,250 bid at six two fifty Against my commissions then at £6,250. Coming in again if you like. Anywhere else in the room at £6,250. On the XR3i Cabriolet at £6,250. Finishing done, are we? Absolutely sure at six two fifty. It is provisional. 
Submitting the bid then at £6,250 only, you're finished and you're done. Try for you at 6250 That was number 222 again. 263 this time. 263. Six two fifty provisional. Lot twenty, ladies and gentlemen. Lot twenty, where I'll hand you over. I nearly forgot there to my very good friend Paul Cowley. Uh, thank you, Jules. Thank you, Jules. So the Panther Callista. If you don't know this car, I have a huge amount of affection for these. Designed by the amazing guy that was Robert Jankel, who of course rose to fame with the J72. What this was in period was effectively a poor man's Morgan. It's not a kit car. Each of these cars was handmade. They're finished. This is all aluminium bodywork on these cars. And they're incredible because they look really cool. They're very different. You don't see many of them. And underneath, it's just all Ford mechanical. So it's bits of Cortina, bits of Sierra, bits of Capri. So they're very cheap and easy to run. There's a wonderful owner's club for these as well. And they're just surprisingly large believe it or not me at six foot four an all egg can fit in here so this is a very nice car this has got the 2.8 so it sounds good they're pretty quick as well it's a lovely spec 1985 with a two-tone it's also got the aero kit as well it's got the stone guards it's had some money spent only four previous keepers 55,000 miles absolutely mega history i just think these are one of those cars because like, we all love a failure, Panther were a hugely successful failure. They basically folded with 250 orders on the books because they're cash flow problems, basically. So a wonderful car, incredibly rare. You don't often see them up for sale, and you don't see them at an auction. And I think that one would be rather nice. We've estimated this at 11 to 13. It might make more. Jules, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go, Paul. Thanks very much for that. Fabulous car, 2.8 injection V6, the Ford Cologne engine in there. Very comprehensive history file. As Paul said, what a cracking vehicle. Interest here with me starts your way at seven and a half thousand pounds. Bid with me at seven and a half thousand pounds. On the Panther then at seven and a half. And it's against you all in the room, ladies and gentlemen, again, at just seven and a half thousand pounds. On the Panther Callista at seven and a half thousand, eight thousand, five hundred. At eight thousand, five hundred pounds bid, still with me at eight and a half thousand. Still against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at eight and a half. Still on commission. Coming in again, if you like, anywhere else at eight and a half thousand pounds. Still on my commission book on the Panther Callista at eight and a half, eight seven fifty, nine thousand. Still with me at nine nine two fifty, nine and a half. Still with me at nine and a half. You're both out at nine and a half thousand pounds bid on my commission book. You're both out in the room. You're out on the World Wide Web as well on the Panther at just nine and a half thousand pounds, and that is provisional, ladies and gentlemen. Submitting the bid at nine and a half thousand. Last chance anywhere else. Looks very little money to your auctioneer at nine and a half thousand. Finishing down then, are you absolutely sure? Submitting that bid, provisional then, on my commission book at £9,500 on the Panther. That one is provisional, ladies and gentlemen, at 9500 That is uh, 3031, provisional, at 9500 Thanks, George. Lot 21 in your catalogues, ladies and gentlemen. Lot 21 is the 1987 Austin Mini Mayfair. Just one owner from new. 13,000 miles on her, ladies and gentlemen. She is an automatic. March next year, the MOT. Lots of old MOT certificates with her as well. Where do you find these with 13,000 miles on? Again, interest here on my commission book starts you at four and a half, five bid. At 5,000 pounds, bid with me at 5,000. On the Mini Mayfair then, at just 5,000 pounds. One owner from new. 13,000 miles at 5,000 pounds, bid with me at 5,000. Five and a half, six bids, sir. Still on my commission book, six and a half, I'm out. At 6,500 pounds bid, in the room now, on the Mini Mayfair. Microscopic mileage, one owner from new at six and a half thousand. It is provisional. Bid in the room at six and a half thousand pounds. Not a million miles away from the reserve, I have to say, at six and a half thousand. Coming in anywhere else if you like. I'll take 750 if that'll tempt anybody else. Currently at 6,500. Very quiet on the internet on this one. That does surprise me. It's six and a half thousand pounds. Gentleman's bid right in the center of the room there. At six and a half thousand pounds. Provisionally selling then. Shaking your heads everywhere else. It is provisional. At six thousand five hundred pounds. We will try for you, sir, at six and a half thousand. Two one four. Thanks very much indeed in the room. Two one four. Like I said, not a million miles away from the reserve. We'll get you an answer as soon as we possibly can. Lot 22 is the 1989 BMW. 318 injection, what a lovely BMW this one is. Had a close look at this one. Just 41,000 miles in her original specification as well. Three former keepers with the sunroof as well. There we are, very nice motor car, sharp looking cars these. Interest here again starts you at six 
and a half bid at six thousand five hundred pounds bid at six and a half on the BMW then at six and a half thousand. It's against you all in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Three one eight injection at six and a half thousand pounds against you all at six and a half. Bidding anywhere else if you like at just six and a half thousand pounds. Made in commission bids. It's against you all. Make no mistake at all at just six thousand five hundred. Next bid, 7,000. If you want to come in in the room, or indeed on the World Wide Web, at just 6,500 pounds. Give me a shout if I'm missing you anywhere in the room. At just 6,500. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, at 6,500 pounds. Finish and done, are we? At 6,500 pounds only. That one is not sold, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. I do have that commission bid. I'm just too far away from the reserve. I can't submit that one. If anybody's got a genuine interest on that BMW, please do see any of the sales staff after. We'll let you know where we are. But I'm afraid I can't submit that commission bid. So that one is not sold, I'm afraid. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 23, 1995, Mazda MX-5. Again, microscopic mileage again on this one. Just 6,000 miles she's covered from new, the MX-5. She is manual. March next year, the MOT. Fully operational hood and hood cover. It's the 1.8 liter engine, just three former keepers. There we are, nothing on my book on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Start me away on the MX-5. Where do you want to be on this one? Start me at 6,000. On the Mazda MX-5. Start me away at 6,000 pounds, bid surely wear at 6,000. On the little Mazda. Start me away in the room, ladies and gentlemen, at just 6,000 pounds. Only done 6,000 miles. Start me away at 6,000. I'll take it, sir, at 5,000, bid at 5,000. On the Mazda then, at just 5,000 pounds. Against you, atonement against you in the room at 5,000 pounds. Mazda MX-5 here at just 5,000. 500 if you like anywhere else at just 5,000 pounds. What is wrong here, ladies and gentlemen? Dear me, 5,5, five. 6,000. Thank you, sir. At 6,000 pounds, only bid at 6,000. On the MX-5 at just 6,000. Six and a half. Seven bid. Thank you. At 7,000 pounds, bid in the room at 7,000. Still against you on the internet, I'm afraid, Tom. At 7,000 pounds. Microscopic mileage. At 7,000 pounds, only bid at seven. On the Mazda MX-5 at just 7,000. Coming in if you like anywhere else at 7,000. It's against you all everywhere else at just 7,000 pounds. Try 250, Tom. Dear me, I can't believe that's all we're going to see. at 7,000 pounds bid. On the Mazda then, the MX-5 at 7,000 pounds. It's against you everywhere else. Against you around the world at 7,000 pounds. Last chance then, ladies and gentlemen, at 7,000 pounds only. On the Mazda, 7,250. Seven and a half. Still going in the room at 7,500 bid at seven and a half. 750 if you like, Tom. Absolutely for nothing. And I can assure you, if you're bidding at home, that is for nothing at seven and a half thousand pounds. Only bid at seven and a half. Seven seven fifty. Fresh bidder right up on the top deck. Eight thousand. Two fifty. Eight and a half. Seven fifty. No, I'll submit the bid at eight thousand seven hundred fifty. Thanks for your bids anyway, sir. At eight seven fifty. Fill it up to nine thousand if you want anywhere else. At 8,750 pounds, gentlemen's bid right up in the gods there on the mezzanine at 8,750. Finished and done in the room. At 8,750 pounds, it is provisional. We will try for you, sir, at 8,750. That is number 220. Provisional at 8,750. Provisional. We'll let you know as soon as we possibly can once we've spoken to the vendor. Next lot is lot 24 in your catalogs, which is the MGB Roadster, the pull handle. There we are. New Heritage Shell, back in 1998, has the early stowaway hood and frame. Fully wax oiled, lots of history there as well, going back to 2005. Interest here starts you at six and a half, seven bid. At 7,000 pounds, bid with me at 7,000. On the MGB then at 7,000. It's against you all, ladies and gentlemen. It's too slow in the room at 758. Still with me at 8,000. At 8,000 pounds bid, you're out eight and a half. Still too slow in the room. At eight uh, and... Uh, Half was that? Eight and a half thousand. Eight seven fifty. Bid with me at eight thousand seven hundred and fifty. Bid at eight seven fifty. Fill it up to nine. Nine thousand. I'm out now at nine thousand pounds. Bid on the World Wide Web at nine thousand. Against my commission now at nine thousand pounds. Only bid. In the room then at nine thousand. Coming in again if you like. Give me a shout if I'm missing you anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. At nine thousand pounds. Two fifty. They're back in at nine thousand two hundred and fifty pounds. Bid at nine two fifty. Nine and a half. At 9,500, bid in the room at nine, sorry, on the internet at 9,500. Still against you in the room. At 9,500. Still against you. At 9,500 pounds, only bid at 9,500. 
Coming in again, if you like, at 9,500. Thanks for your bids anyway. On the World Wide Web then at 9,500. It is provisional. Submitting the bid. On the pull handle, the MGB at 9,500. Still against you in the room. Finishing then, then it is provisional with Tom then at 9,500. Try for you, Tom. That one is provisional at 9,500. 2492. Thanks very much indeed. Again, we'll let you know at home as soon as we possibly can when we've spoken to the vendor. First update there on the provisional bids, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, Panther Lot 20, the lovely Panther, that has sold for £9,500. That's the way the provisional bid system works. Don't be afraid of sticking your hand in the air. We'll see what we can do for you. The Panther has already sold to that provisional bid at 9500 Lot 25. In your catalogs is the 1986 Ford Fiesta XR2. Original specification with the pepper pot alloys there, I noticed. Just three former keepers, MOT till next March, with the book pack. Loads of invoices on this one. I'm sure you've had a look through the history file as well. Interest here on the XR2 starts me at seven and a half, eight bid. At 8,000 pounds, bid with me at 8,000. 500, 9,000 bid at 9,000. Thanks for your bid anyway. 9,000 pounds, bid with me at 9,000. On the XR2 at 9,000 pounds, against you all, ladies and gentlemen. Ford Fiesta XR2 here at just 9,000 pounds, and it is provisional. I will submit that bid at just 9,000. Against you all in the sale room then at 9,000. 250, nine and a half. Still with me at nine and a half thousand pounds, bid at nine and a half. You're still out, I'm afraid, at nine and a half thousand pounds. Still provisional with me. Against you in the room, ladies and gentlemen, at nine and a half thousand pounds. Against you at home as well, but I will submit that bid at 9,000. 500 pounds, you're all finishing done, you're absolutely sure. On the XR2 then at nine and a half thousand pounds, bids here with me, 9,750. 10,000, still with me at 10,000, 250 if you like. 10,250, 10 and a half, still with me, 750 if you like. At 10 and a half thousand pounds, 750 I'm out. At 10,750 pounds, taking my commissions out now. At 10,750, you're still out further back. On my right, at 10,750 pounds, provisionally selling the XR2. Last chance anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen, at 10,750 pounds. You're all finished and you're all done then. Provisional at 10,750 pounds. Was that 263, that one? 263, thank you, 263. <laughs> Provisional. Get myself shot for forgetting that. There we go, George. Another one for you there. And we're back over to Paul for our next lot. Thank you, Jules. Thank you, Jules. Well, I'm joined with my good friend and the UK's second best celebrity, Simon. Simon, we're by the 1993 Mercedes 190 Sportline, which I think, because of the specs, got to be one of the best, one of the most collectible Mercedes ever made. Well, absolutely, yeah, and it's the 2.6, of course, like you said, the Sportline with the bucket seats, bucket seats in the back as well. Uh, and I believe from our previous conversation, these are like going through the roof over in, um, in Deutschland, aren't they? Yeah, if you look at the prices of these guys in Germany, there's a scene over there called the Young Time Machine, and it's this kind of car. The 190s are fetching monster money, and that has to trickle over here soon. This is a UK car, it's only done 109,000 miles, mega history, probably the best color. And with the Sportline, you get this lovely kit, the lower suspension, the AMG wheels, you get, like I say, Elliot, come and look at these seats, you get rear buckets on the Sportline, which are just nice utterly car, fabulous. Factory roof, wood kit, and of course you get the 2.6 engine. We've estimated this conservatively. It needs a tiny bit on the door, but the interior is otherwise flawless. Simon, would you drive that car? I would definitely drive this car. I've been after one of these for years, and if this had three seats in the back, it would be going on with me. This was the era when they made them properly, isn't it? Yeah. This is peak Mercedes. It's a laster. It is, it's one you can treasure to your retirement. Jules, let's spin the wheel, see what she makes. Pink Mercedes, I like that phrase. Pink Mercedes there. Lot 26 is the Mercedes-Benz 190E. Sportline, a cracking vehicle. Thanks for that intro there, Paul. Interest with me, I've got commissions falling off the end of my book here, by the way. I'm straight in at 3.8, 4,000, 4.2, 4,4, 4.6, 4.8, 4.8, 4.8, 5 bid. At 5,000 pounds, bid with me at 5,000 on the Sportline. At 5,000 pounds, only bid with me at 5,000. 5,2, 5, 5,4, 5, 5,6. 5, 5,8, 6, 6,000. Still with me at 6,000. 6,5, 7,500. 
I'm out. Internet against internet bidding. Well, I was fast asleep there, to be fair, Tom, at seven and a half thousand pounds bid at seven and a half thousand. Were they all bidding during Paul's, Paul's intro? At seven and a half thousand pounds bid. On the World Wide Web at seven and a half thousand. Eight bid at eight thousand pounds, eight thousand five hundred. There you go, Paul, you've sprinkled your magic on this one at eight and a half thousand pounds. They're all bidding away while I was snoozing at eight and a half bid. On the World Wide Web then, at eight and a half thousand, I'll take 750 if that'll help the underbidder. At 8,500 pounds, absolute cracker this one at eight and a half thousand pounds bid. On the Mercedes, 190E, rare sports line at eight and a half thousand. See you there running on the, on the, on the road, ladies and gentlemen. Looks absolutely fabulous, doesn't she? 750, can see yourself behind the wheel at 9,000 pounds, only bid at 9,000. 250, at 9,250 bid at 9,250. I think they're finished and done there, Tom. Still hovering. Is, is that the technical term you use on the internet terminal? At 9,250 pounds. Hovering away at home at 9,250. Absolutely sure. I'll take 350 if that'll help them at 9,250 bid. Such a nice car. Can't believe you want to leave her away. 9,350 bid. Do the same favor. 9,450 at 9,450 pounds bid on the Mercedes at 9,450. Absolutely fabulous piece of kit here at 9,450. Sorry to disappoint the underbidder, but I'm selling away. Outright sale against you all, ladies and gentlemen, in the sale room at 9,450 pounds. She's going to go. Sold away at 9,450. Sue, Sue, nine, eight. Thanks very much indeed on the internet. I'm sure you're going to really enjoy that one. Lot 27. Next lot in your catalog is the 1969 Bentley T1. Only four former keepers in the current ownership since 1980. Showing 84,000 pounds, clearly needs some restoration. The engine and gearbox has been removed, but it is on a pallet. The pallet's been to the side of the car, actually, on the viewing. I'm sure you've been tripping over it uh, like I have. No reserve whatsoever on the Bentley T1. Nothing on my book either. Start me away. Where do you want to be, ladies and gentlemen, on the Bentley T1? In need of restoration, but must be worth 1,000 pounds. 500 is that's well clearly not worth a thousand pounds at 500 pound only bit at 500 i'm off and running no reserve whatsoever ladies and gentlemen at 500 pounds bid she's selling straight away 600 700 back in the room at 700 pounds bid at 700 it's against you everybody's hand should be in the air here at 700 eight nine at 900 pounds bid at 900 we could be here some time if we're not careful at 900 pounds fill it up to a thousand pounds at home again i can assure you this is for nothing at 1000 1100 Still bid in the room at 1,100 pounds, bid at 1,100. No reserve whatsoever. Bentley T1 for restoration at 1,100 pounds, bid at 1,100. Be an absolute cracker when she's put back together. At 1,100 pounds, she will sell away. Make no mistake whatsoever anywhere in the room. 12 bid, 1,300. Straight back at you on the internet at 1,300 pounds, bid at 1,300. On the Bentley, T1 at 1,300 pounds. Finishing down there now, shaking your heads in the room and obviously shaking your head at home as well. Last chance, fair warning from your auctioneer this time. Ladies bid at 1,300 pounds. Finishing down and I'm selling away at just 1,300. Sold away at 1,300 pounds. 77, thank you. I'll try and remember that one for next time. Number 77. Lot 28, ladies and gentlemen, is the 1975 Jaguar XJ 3.4. Just four former keepers on the Jaguar, showing 59,000 miles, original spec interior with the original Clarion Jaguar radio in there, I notice as well. Lots of old MOT certificates right the way back to 1979. Only missing one MOT certificate there, actually. Nice motor here. Interest starts me away. Uh, let's have a look at 4,000 for two. At 4,200 pounds, bid with me at 4,200, bid with me on commission, ladies and gentlemen, at 4,2. At 4,200 pounds, 4,446. 4,8, your bid in the room, I'm out. At 4,800 pounds, bid, bid in the room now at 4,800. Fill it up to five if you want anywhere else. At 4,800 pounds, bid. Against my commission book and against you at home as well. Against you everywhere else in the room at just 4,800 pounds. Give me a shout again if I'm missing you anywhere. At 4,008, I've got in the room. Five, telephone bidder at five, th five, two, straight back at you at 5,200, bid at 5,200. At 5,200. Five, four, at 5,400 pounds. 
Shaking your head in the room at 5,400 I have on the telephone with George now at 5,400. On the XJ 3.4, just four former keepers showing 59,000 miles at 5,400 pounds. Telephone bid now. Against my commission, against you in the room as well. You're absolutely, I'll take 5.5 five if that'll help you in the room. Thank you anyway. On the telephone then at 5,400 pounds. It is provisional. Submitting the bid then at 5,400 on the telephone with George. Provisional George at 5,400. 2011, thank you, at 5,400 pounds. Provisional. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully we'll have some updates on these provisional bids as we run through the sale. Next lot is lot 29, which is the 1990 Porsche 911. Carrera 2 Cabriolet, the 964, if you prefer. Showing 38 stamps, count them out, 38 stamps in the service book, been very, very well maintained. Clearly enjoyed over its years, just four previous owners. Has a recent electric roof service as well. Recent new clutch flywheel crank sens sensor as well. Great, great history file on this one as well. Let's have a look. Interest here starts you at just 18, 20,000. At 20,000 pounds, bid with me at 20,000. Against you all in the room at 20,000. Next bid's 22 if you want to come in. Currently at 20,000 pounds on my commission book, then at 20,000. 22, 24. At 24,000 pounds, bid with me at 24. 25, 26. Thanks anyway for your bids. At 26,000 pounds, I have bid in the, on my commission book at 26,000. 27, 28. Still with me at 28,000 pounds, bid at 28,000. Coming in again if you like at 28,000 pounds. It's against you, ladies and gentlemen, at 28,000 pounds, and that is provisional. At 28,000. Finished and done on the telephone. At 28, finished and done at the back of the room as well. At 28,000 pounds, I have. On the 964. At 28,000 pounds. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen. At just 28,000 pounds. On my commission book and against you on the telephone as well. Against you further back. At 28,000 pounds. Last chance anywhere else then. At 28,000 pounds. You're all finished and you're done. I'm afraid that one isn't sold, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I'm too far away from the reserve to submit that bid, so I'm afraid that one's not sold. Please have a word with us on the telephone uh, later or have a word with us at the back of the hall as well. Our sales team will let you know where you need to be, but that's a little bit too low, I'm afraid, to submit that one. So that one is not sold. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogues is a lot 30. Here's an absolutely fab. Fabulous car, the 1967 Riley 472. Hope you've had a look at this one, even if you weren't here to have a bid. It's a former show winner. You can see why. Absolutely original specification throughout. When did you last see one of these? The Riley 472. Just four former keepers. Has the uh, metal sun visor on there as well. Really, really cool period accessory there. Full leather, twin carb engine on her as well. Loads of invoices go right the way back to 1978 as well. Quite a bit of interest here on my commission book. I'm in at four, four, five, four, eight, five bid. At 5,000 pounds, bid with me at 5,000. On my commission book on the Riley at 5,000. Five, two, five, five. Five, eight, 6,000. Ooh, dear. Six, two. I'm out now at 6,200 pounds, bid in the room at six, two. Six, four. Six, five. In the room at six, five. Six, six. Six, seven. Six, eight. Internet at 6,800. Sorry to disappoint you at 6,800. Absolute cracker. 69, still going on the World Wide Web. Thanks anyway for your bids. 7,000 is that, Tom. At 7 bid. 7 1, I can't get you in in the room. At 7 1, please bid quicker in the room if you want to come in. 7 2, still can't get you in. 7 3, still can't get you in. At 7 4, still going at 7,000. 7 5, 7 6, can't get you in on the telephone either, George. At 7,600, 7 8, must be right. 8,000. Everybody wants her at 8,000 pounds. We're on sale, of course. I should have told you that, ladies and gentlemen. We're on sale at 8,000 bid. Against you on the telephone, George. 8-2. Telephone at 8,200. Against all your bidders, Tom. 8-4. Back on the World Wide Web at 8,400 pounds bid at 8-4. Former show winner. 8-6. 8-8, eight, eight, eight. internet against internet bidding still. At 8,800, I'm sure, sure some of these bidders must have known this car and seen around the show circuit. Nine bid. At 9,000 pounds, only bid at 9,000. 
9-2 at 9,200 bids. Still on the World Wide Web at 9-2. 9-4, thank you. Telephone bidder still at 9,400 pounds bid at 9-6. On the internet at 9,600 bid at 9-6. Against you again, George. At 9-6. 9-8. At 9,800 bid, 10 bid. I'll stay in those 200 increments at 10,000 pounds, only bid at 10,000. On the internet, 10,2. Thanks, Tom, you didn't disappoint me at 10,400 bid. At 10,400. 10,6. At 10,600 pounds, bid at 10,6. 10,8. 10,800 pounds, bid at 10,8. I don't know about anybody else. I could do with an ice cream. We need an ice cream van here, don't we? 11 bid. 11, everybody's nodding their head at 11,000 pound. Quite warm in the cell room. 11,2. 11,200. Roger, we need an ice cream van for next time. 11,200. Could do with an ice cream. 11,200. <laughs> 11,4. Telephone bidder. 11,400 pounds bid 11,4. 11,6. We've clearly lost one of your internet bidders, haven't we? At 11,6. 11,600 bid, 118 at 11,800 on the Riley, 12,000. You could always try 13, George. You could always try 13, 12,2, 12,200 bid, 12,4 straight back, says Tom. You're absolutely sure. Can you find another, George? Can you find another? 12,5. Must be worth 12.6. There we go. Another 200 pounds. 12.8. Thanks anyway on the telephone at 12,800 pounds bid on the World Wide Web with Tom. Fill it up to 13,000. If anybody's been waiting till the last possible moment to step in, or I'm selling away at 12,800 pounds, you're all finished and done. Whoops, all the way at 12,800. 2496. Congratulations on the internet. Lovely car, lovely, lovely car. A couple of uh, updates for you. Thanks very much indeed, George. A couple of updates for you. Uh, lot 19, the XR3 Cabrio, sold away at £7,000. Lot 24, the MGB, the pull handle roadster there, also sold away at £10,000. So keep those provisional bids coming for you. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogues is lot 31, the Little Austin A40 Somerset, which I know quite a few of the staff have got their BDI on, offered in original specification, with leather seating as well, sliding sunroof on it, with the semaphores, uh, but she has been fitted with flashing indicators, obviously for road safety now. Probably nobody, hardly anybody understands what a semaphore signal is. Does have the flashing indicators, there we are. Uh, on the A40, nothing on my book. Start me away at 1,500 pounds, and she's worth that all day long. Start me away at 1,500 on the Austin Somerset. That's just 1,500 pounds bid. Thank you, sir. Got you in the room at 1,500. At 1,500 pounds, 1,600, 1,700, 1,800, 1,900, 2,000, 100, 22, 23, 24, 25. No, at 2,500 pounds I have. Can take you now if you like. At 2,500, I have on the Austin Somerset. 2,6. Can take you now. 2,7. Fresh bidder. 2,8. Thank you, sir. 2,9. No, at 2,900 pounds bid at 2,900. Virtually on sale. 3,000. I am on sale. You sure, sir? Nice bit of kit. Like I said, most of the staff fancied this one and were trying to bid. I just couldn't get them in. At 3,000 pounds, must be worth another 50 pound note, surely. Go on. At 3,000 pounds bid, currently at 3,000. Finish it, you're a hard man. Oh, and 50, somebody else values it for another 50 pound note. At 3,050 bid. We're on sale, ladies and gentlemen, remember, 3-1. At 3,100, on the A40 Somerset. There she is, running and driving. Like I said, picture yourself behind the wheel. 3150, gentlemen's back in, in the room at 3,150 pounds bid at 3150. Running and driving at 3,150. Finishing done on the World Wide Web. Have to hurry, a fair warning. 3-2. Thanks anyway, sir, for coming back in at 3,200 pounds I have. On the internet then, fair warning in the room. 
Fair warning as well at home to the underbidders, selling away at £3,200 only. Whoops, keep, I keep moving that. 3,200 sold away. 1366. Thanks very much at home. Lovely little vehicle, that one. Lot 32, 1964, Triumph Test 6. There we are. Very presentable car. Cracking colour, isn't she? Fitted with the overdrive as well. Triumph Test. Interest here starts you at 3,000. 3,234. At 3,400, bid with me at 3,006. 38. At 3,800 pounds, bid at 38. 39, 4,000. Still with me at four bid. Thanks for your bids anyway. At 4,000 pounds, bid on my commission book at 4,000. 42, I'm out now. At 4,200 pounds, bid on the internet. Still against you in the room and against my commissions now. At 4,200 bid on the internet. At 4,044. Still going at 4,400. Trying for test, ladies and gentlemen, at 4,400. Not the Herald of Vitesse, 46. Still going at 4,600. Provisionally selling at 4,600 pounds. On the Vitesse then at 4,600 pounds. You're still out in the room, ladies and gentlemen, at 4,600. Try 4,7. At 4,600 pounds bid. Absolutely sure. Finish and done at 4,600 pounds. On the Triumph Vitesse, and I'm selling outright, ladies and gentlemen. No longer provisional. At 4,600 pounds, make no mistake at home, it won't be coming back for sale at 4,600. Last chance then, 4,7. Give the underbidder a chance to think. Like I said, we're on outright sale, ladies and gentlemen, at 4,700 pounds on the Triumph Vitesse, selling away then against you in the room, against the underbidder, 4,8, thank you at home, at 4,800 pounds, bid now at 4,800. On the Vitesse, at just 4,800 pounds, finish and done then. You're sure I'm selling her away at 4,800 pounds. Looks pretty decent value for money to your auctioneer at 4,800 pounds. I'm selling up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. for nine, just in time at home at 4,900. At 4,900 pounds bid on the Vitesse, selling away. Make no mistake at all. Last chance, last roll of the dice at home. Selling her away then at 4,900 pounds. She's going. Oh, I've moved it again. I need to stop doing that. 4,900 sold away. 2,499. Thank you. Sold away on the internet. Another good buy there. I can tell you that for free on that Vitesse. Lot 33, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogue is the 1952 Jowett Bradford van. Has been in regular use. You can see it's fully sign written. That's our vendor. It has been in regular use with the vendor's business as a promotional vehicle. Comes with a small selection of parts. I'm not too sure what they are. I didn't get a chance to have a look. I'm sure you've looked if you were interested. Uh, it has and was driven to the sale room. Driven to the sale room as well. Solid vehicle there. The Jowett Bradford van. Interest here at five and a half bid. At 5,500 pounds bid at five and a half. On the Jowett van at five and a half thousand pounds. Against you all in the room, ladies and gentlemen, at just five and a half thousand. Coming in again, if you like, for another 500 pound bid. At five and a half thousand pounds, I have on the Jowett. Six, 500. At 6,500 pounds bid at six, five. Thought you were making a telephone call there, desperately uh, there. Not for this one, at 6,500 bid. At six and a half thousand pounds. On my commission book then at six and a half. Coming in again, if you like, at home, at just 6,500. There you can see running and driving on the video wall. And at home at six and a half thousand pounds. I'll take 750, Tom. 6,750. There you go. I read, I read their mind there at 6,750. I'm out now. See, there was a reason I said I'll take 6,750. At 6,750, against my commission interest then, at 6,750, I will submit the bid. Against my commission, against you in the room. On the Jowett van, finish and done then, are you absolutely sure again in the room? It is provisional at 6,000. 750 pounds only. We will try for your client there, Tom, at 6,750. 2,492. Thank you at home. Lot 34. Here's a big slice of motor car for you. The 1994 BMW 840ci. I don't think these have ever gone out of favor at all. Always been a really decent piece of kit. Recently been, it says here in my notes, the Stephen James of Enfield BMW for recommissioning work. She's MOT'd till this August. Automatic transmission on it. Quite a few um, service stamps there. Been back to BMW over the years. 
has the cross-spoke multi-alloy wheels as well. What a nice vehicle. Interest here on my commission book starts you at just eight and a half thousand pounds bid with me at eight and a half thousand pounds on the BMW then at eight and a half thousand. Coming in if you like anywhere in the room or on the World Wide Web at eight and a half thousand pounds I have bid. Nice example here at just eight and a half thousand. On the BMW then at eight and a half, nine thousand five hundred. So still against you I'm afraid at nine thousand five hundred. Ten if you like, on the BMW at nine and a half thousand pounds. Can't tempt you for another bid there at nine and a half thousand pounds on the BMW. 840 CI with the multi-spoke alloys. Again, see you running and driving there on the video wall at nine and a half thousand pounds. Still against you all. A lot of motor car here for just nine and a half thousand. Fill her up to ten if you like. At nine and a half thousand pounds. It is provisional then. I will submit the bid. Ten bid. Fresh bidder now at ten thousand pounds. Only bid at ten thousand. Ten and a half. Still with me at ten and a half thousand pounds. Coming in again if you like. A lot of motor car here at ten and a half thousand pounds. Fill it up to eleven if you like. Proper machine at ten and a half thousand pounds. Absolutely sure, at ten and a half thousand. Eleven's your next bid if you like. Provisionally selling, eleven thousand, I'm out now, at eleven bid. On my left, in the room now, at eleven thousand pounds. Take 250 anywhere else, if that'll help anybody else change their minds, at eleven thousand pounds, finish and done then. It's against you, Tom. Well, you've not come in, have you? I'm amazed. Not a bad one, this one at all. I had a close look at this car, at eleven thousand pounds only. Last chance then, it is provisional. On the telephone then, at 11,000 pounds, you're all finishing down everywhere else. That is provisional, 11,000 pounds, that is 263. Provisional at 11,000, provisional. Lot 35, ladies and gentlemen, is the 2008 Bentley Continental GTC Mulliner. Convertible, ladies and gentlemen, again, what a fantastic motor car this one is. 29,000 miles she's showing there or thereabouts. MOT to this October has a really good MOT history. She's never actually had an advisory at all. That shows how well she's been maintained and looked after over the years. With the full book pack, matching set of Pirellis on it, drives very well indeed. All the staff tell me I didn't get a chance to go out in this one, but... Everybody tells me she drives absolutely lovely. Interest here on my commission book at 15, 18, 20 bid. At 20,000 pounds, bid with me at 20,000. At just 20,000 pounds. Hell of a lot of motor car there, ladies and gentlemen, at 18,000. So I'd need 22, really. At 20,000 pounds, bid with me at 20,000. 22, 24, sir. 26, I'm out. At 26,000 pounds bid at 26,000. That's why I needed 22. At 26,000 pounds bid. In the room now. 28,000, I've got on the telephone with Carlos. You sure, sir? Proper motor car here at 28,000. At 28,000 pounds, provisionally selling at 28,000. I can take 29 now, Will, if you want to come in. Or indeed on the internet, Tom. Yeah, currently at 20, 29. Against the telephone against both telephones, 30,000 pounds with Carlos. I'm on outright sale, ladies and gentlemen, no longer provisional at 30,000 pounds bid on the Bentley Continental Mulliner GTC at 30,000 pounds. 31,000 on Will's telephone now at 31,000 pounds bid at 31. You're out, Carlos, I'm afraid, at 31,000 pounds. Still with Will at 31,000. 500, says the other telephone at 31, uh, I have to say yes, because we're on outright sale at 31 and a half thousand. Selling away, 32,000. Still with Will at 32,000 pounds. 500, says Carlos, at 32 and a half thousand pounds bid. At 32 and a half thousand. 33,000. Back with Will now at 33,000 pounds on the Bentley Continental Milliner and a half at 33,500 bid on Carlos's telephone at 33,500 against you, Will. At 33,500, have to hurry you just to be fair to the other telephone bidder at 33,500 pounds, 34,000. Still in the game at 34,500 pounds, 500 again. Thank you, Carlos, at 34,500 pounds. It's against you, Will, it's against you, Sam, as well, if your telephone wants to come in as well. Currently at 34,500 with Carlos. Please give me a shout, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to come in. I'm not ignoring you purposely. 35,000, thank you, Will. At 35,000 pounds, bid at 35. On the Bentley Continental. 
500 at 35 and a half thousand pounds still with Carlos's telephone bidder at 35 and a half thousand still against you will will looks like he's spending his own money doesn't he at 35 and a half thousand Finish and done, absolutely sure. Shaking your head on Will's telephone at 35 and a half thousand pounds. Finish and done in the room as well. You're out on the internet, remember. Last chance then, last roll of the dice, selling away at 35 and a half thousand pounds. On the telephone with Carlos. Sold at 35 and a half thousand. Well done there, Carlos. Two zero zero four. Thanks very much indeed on the telephone. Sold away. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 36 is the 1982 Porsche 911 SC Targa. Lots of money spent on the bodywork. It says here £17,500 according to the history file. Recent service work carried out as well, including the chain tensioners on uh, recent Bridgestone tyres as well. There we are, the 911 SC Targa. Nothing on my book for this one at all. Start me away. Where do you want to be? Start me at £20,000 on the 911 SC Targa, the Porsche. Nothing on my book. 20 b at 20,000 pounds, bid on the World Wide Web at 20,000. At 20,000 pounds, 22,000. At 22,000 pounds, bid at 22, 24. I've got you in the room, thank you, sir. At 24, like I said, nothing on my book. Please give me a shout if you want to come in. At 24,000 pounds, 26,000, 28,000. Back in the room at 28,000 pounds, bid at 28. Fill it up to 30, Tom. Currently at 28,000 pounds, provisionally selling. Make no mistake at all, at 28,000 pounds. Against you on the World Wide Web, 911 SC Target at 28,000 pounds. I'll take 29 from the internet if they want to come back in. Can't be fairer than that, can I? Currently, the gentleman's bid in the room at 28,000 pounds, and it is provisional, submitting the bid for an answer, a yes or a no, from the vendor, unless the internet wants to come back in again at 28,000 pounds. It is provisional in the room, then. We will try for you, sir, at 28,000. Number 44, thanks very much indeed. Number 44, 28,000. Provisional. A lot of motor car there for 28,000. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Uh, lot 37 in your catalogues. Lot 37 is the 1982 Land Rover 88 Series 3. MOT to November this year. Three wheeling hubs, two and a quarter litre uh, petrol with the Weber carbs. A new parabolic spring sets here, 755 pounds spent on it uh, last year with the hard top as well. Still on the original chassis. Absolutely no reserve. And I can't believe I haven't got a bid on my book at all. Where do we need to start this one, Roger, do you think? Start me away at 2,000 on the Land Rover. Start me away at 2,000. Bid in the room at just 2,000. 2, 2, 2, 4, 2, 6, 2, 8. It's against you, sir. At 2,800 pounds I have. No reserve. 3,000 internets in now. 3, 2. Back in the room at 3,200. 3, 4, 3, 6, 3, 8, 4,000. Nope. Thanks for your bids anyway, sir. At 4,000 pounds I have. 4, 2. Fresh bidder entirely. 4.4, still on our original chassis at 4,400. Still in the seated area, you're out at the back, I'm afraid. At 4.4, I've got down here, 4.6. Nope, thanks for your bids anyway. 4,600 pounds bid at 4,600. On the Land Rover, standing bidder now at 4,600 pounds. No reserve, I'll take 4.7. Back in at 4.7. You're still out at the back, I'm afraid. At 4,700, I have. Make no mistake, we're on outright sale, remember. There's no reserve, 4.8. 5,000. Thank you, sir. 5,000 pounds bid at 5,000. You're still out at the back. At five, I have bid now at 5,000. Finish and done, are we? Please give me a shout. 5-1. Fresh bidder. Oh, having to speak to the bank manager now. That's dangerous. Mm, wasn't a positive conversation, that one, was it? At 5,100 pounds bid. Finish and done. Absolutely sure I am selling away. No longer provisional. Because there's no reserve on her at 5,100 pounds. You're all finished and done in the room. Sold away at 51199, the buyer. 199 at 5,100. I'm sure we'll see a lot more of that particular machine. <laughs> Next lot is lot 38. Lot 38, Mercedes 280 SL Pagoda, ladies and gentlemen, showing right at the front here, and what an absolutely fabulous car this is. I'm sure we'd all love to own this one. Has been comprehensively restored. There's a full photographic record of that um, particular restoration as well within the history file. Cracking color combination as well. Absolutely looks a million dollars. 
loads of invoices, has been in family ownership since 2007, serviced last November, had a gearbox and torque converter rebuild as well, with the hard top on her as well. Interest here starts you at 45, 52,000 pounds, bid with me at 52,000, on the Pagoda then at 52,000, and against you all at 52 I have, on the Mercedes Pagoda at 52,000. 54, 56, still with me, Tom. 58, fresh bidder, 60,000. Against you on the internet, against you on the telephone, at 60, I have. 62, 64, still with me at 64,000 pounds, bid at 64. 65, I'll take, I'm out now, at 65,000 pounds, telephone bidder, at 65,000. My commission's out, you're out on the internet as well. Just have a look at how sharp that car looks. Is that Will driving it? It is. He gets all the best jobs. At 65,000 pounds, but he's not listening, he's on the other telephone. At 65,000 pounds, but at 65. I never get to drive any of the best cars. At 65,000 pounds bid. At 65,000. They said, Jules, you can drive the Fiat 500. <sighs> Just had to push it around the car park. <laughs> at 65,000 pounds. On the telephone then. At 65,000, you're all out in the room. You're out on the World Wide Web as well, make no mistake. On the telephone then, with Sam, finish and done, it is provisional, submitting the bid at £65,000 only. We will try for your client there, Sam, at £65,000. 195 at £65,000. What a lovely car that'll be if that comes in for 65000 Lot 39 is the 1966 Austin Mini 1000 Traveller. Just one former keeper from new extensively restored over the last couple of years, certainly shows it. She's clean as a whistle inside and out. There was over eight and a half thousand pounds spent on parts alone during that restoration as well, showing around about 83,000 uh, on the clock as well. Commissions here with me start you at eight and a half bid, at just 8,500 pounds bid on the traveler at eight and a half thousand pounds. Against you in the room, ladies and gentlemen, against you on the internet, just eight and a half thousand. At 8,500 pounds bid, 9,000. 500 is that as well, Seven right, I need to get my commission back in, just one moment, 9,500 is my commission, at 9,500 pounds, bid with me at 9,500, sorry about that Tom, at 9,500, against both your bidders, at 9,500 pounds, I have on my commission book, fill it up to 10 if you want to, on the traveller, loads of money spent on a ladies and gentlemen, fully restored over the last couple of years, at 9,500 pounds, fill it up to 10 if you like, at home, or indeed anywhere else in the room, or at 9,500 pounds I have, on my commission book, and you're all out in the room, make no mistake at all, on the traveler then, at nine and a half thousand pounds, nobody else for her, at nine and a half thousand pounds, finishing done, leaving her behind in the room, leaving her behind at home at just nine and a half thousand pounds, finishing done, you're absolutely sure at nine and a half thousand pounds, that one is not sold either, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen, do have that commission bid, but again, I'm too far away from the reserve to submit that, don't want to embarrass or upset the uh, owner, so please have a word, with our sales team, if you are interested in the traveler, we'll let you know where you want to be, but I'm afraid I can't sell that one at my commission bid of 9,500. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalog is lot 40, which is the 1966 Sunbeam Tiger, lot 40. Loads of old MOT certificates on file has undergone a complete bare metal repaint, full interior retrim as well, mechanical restoration took over five years, loads of photographs and bills on file. Matching numbers, always been a UK right-hand drive home market car as well, has been featured in the 50th anniversary Tiger book as well, well-known vehicle, this one here, the Sunbeam Tiger. Interest here, starts your way, let's have a look at uh, 25, 28, 30,000, bid with me at 30,000 pounds, bid at 30,000, on my commission book at 30,000, 32,000, thank you, 34,000, still with me at 34,000 pounds, bid at 34, still against you online and against you in the room at 34,000 pounds, I have bid with me at 34,000, on the Tiger, 36,000, 37,000, still with me at 37,000 pounds, bid at 37, against you on the telephone and against you at home at 37,000 pounds. On the Sunbeam Tiger, ladies and gentlemen, what an absolutely fabulous example. 38,000, back on the telephone at 38,000. My commission's out now at 38,000 pounds, bid on the telephone. You're still out at home, ladies and gentlemen, at 38,000 on the Sunbeam Tiger. 
at just £38,000. Absolutely sure in the room, leaving her behind. Telephone bidder, 39000 Fresh bidder, got you, sir. Nice to see you again, by the way, at £39,000. At 39 bid. You're out now, Sam. No, nope. shaking your head, 500 if you like. <laughs> I thought that was a yet. No, that's a no. At 39,000 pounds. Gentleman behind you is going, no, say no. At 39,000 bid. And it is provisional at 39,000 pounds. Bid's in the room now, ladies and gentlemen, at 39,000. Last chance then, finish and done. It is provisional at 39,000 pounds. We will try for you, sir, at 39,000. Not a million miles away. 25, the paddle bidder. At 39,000, provisional. Provisional. We'll give you an update as soon as we can on that one. Lot 41, ladies and gentlemen, lot 41 is the 1967 Volkswagen Carmen Gear 1500. Again, another vehicle that's come to us with a very comprehensive body off restoration. Uh, was imported from the Netherlands back in 2014. Uh, prior to that, the car lived in California, so she has been a little bit of a globetrotter. She's in our sale room for you today to have a bid on. Converted to electronic ignition, that makes her a little bit more plug and play, of course. Brand new interior as well, loads of bills, loads of invoices, cracking car. Interest here starts me at 14, 15, 16 bid. At 16,000 pounds, bid with me at 16,000. On the Carmen gear, then at 16,000. And against your wall in the room at just 16 bid. 17,000, got you 18 bid with me at 18,000. Still with me at 18,000 pounds. 19,000, 20 bid, and I'm on outright sale now at 20,000 pounds, bid with me at 20,000. Thanks for your bids anyway. At 20,000 pounds, I have bid. At 20,000, thanks for your bids. Nice to see you, Tommy, by the way. At 20,000 pounds, only bid at 20,000. Still on my commission book, selling away outright at £20,000. You're absolutely sure in the room. Against you at home as well, remember, at £20,000 I have. Selling away then, on commission, on the Carmen gear, at £20,000 you're all finished and you're done. Sold away at £20,000. That's the my commission bidder, that is 3025. Sold away at 20000 Next lot is lot 42, 1978 Ford Escort, RS2000. April next year, the MOT, cloth interior on it. New Yoko Harmer tires, fully detailed engine bay. Again, I'm sure you've had a close look at this RS2000. Very, very bonny car. Interest here starts me at just 22, 24,000. At 24,000 pounds, bid with me at 24,000. On the Escort RS2000, at 24,000 pounds, bid with me. On the RS2 then, at just 24,000 pounds. Maiden commission bids against you all in the room, ladies and gentlemen, at 24,000. At 24,000 pounds. 26,000. 28,000. Still with me at 28,000 pounds, bid at 28,000. 30,000, I'm out now. At 30,000 pounds, telephone bidder again at 30,000 pounds. On the RS2, at just 30,000. Commissions are out now. He's still out in the room. On the Ford Escort, RS2000, at £30,000 bid. Well, I will submit the bid rather reluctantly if that's all we're going to see. At just £30,000, I'll take 31 from anywhere else. At £30,000, on the RS2000, still with your telephone bidder, Sam, don't worry. At £30,000. Coming in again if you like anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen, at just £30,000. Give you a chance to think. On the Escort, RS2000. Last chance then, it is provisional. On the telephone with Sam then at 30000 Provisional. We will try 229 again. Provisional. Lot 43, ladies and gentlemen, is the Alfa Romeo 2 litre Spider Veloce. Showing 65,000 there or thereabouts on the Speedo. Extensively restored just last year into her original specification as well. New mohair hood and hood cover. Matching tires again. Let's have a look. Interest here on my commission book starts you at just 10, 11 bid. At 11,000 pounds, only bid at 11,000. On the Alfa Romeo, ladies and gentlemen, the Spider, 11,000 pounds, 12,000. I have on the telephone. Sorry about that, Tom, but I've still got 13. So you're both out on the telephone and the internet. At 13,000 pounds, bid with me. And you're out in the room as well. At 13,000 pounds, I have. 14,000, I'm out now. Telephone bidder at 14,000 pounds, bid at 14,000. Against all your clients there, Tom, at 14,000 pounds. 
She's been gone through from stem to stern. Absolutely eye-burning restoration on this one. Everybody's driven her, again, apart from me, unfortunately, but everybody who's driven her says, I don't want to give the keys back. At 14,000 pounds on the telephone, I'll take 500 from your clients, Tom. 14 and a half, fresh bidder. At 14,500 bid now. Telephone bidder at 14,500 pounds on my left. At 14,500. At 14,500 pounds. Can we get again, if you like, anywhere else? At 14,500. Against you on the internet, against you on the telephones as well. At 14,500. Last chance, shaking your head. You're absolutely sure. At 14,500. Last chance, then it is provisional. At 14,500 pounds. You're all finished and done. You're sure? We'll try for you again. 263, isn't it? 263 at 14,500 pounds. Provisional. Get an update for you again as soon as we possibly can. And now it's back to Paul Cowland. I nearly forgot about him again. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Jules. Thank you, Jules. You join me back here for Lot 44. And I've got another celebrity guest. It's celebrity guest here at Manor Park today with my great mate and TV husband, Drew Pritchard. Now, Drew P, I think your love for British cars... As we've, we've broadcast that a lot on the show, haven't we? It's not big, is it, really? And I apologize, there's a lot of British cars I don't like. I'm pretty much German stuff that I like, and Japanese. But there is the odd exception. Yeah. Um, and it's old rollers, Bentleys, and I do like the Scimitar as well. Can you think of any famous royal people that might have had one? I, I, I'm trying to think of so, like a famous royal that might have had one. <laughs> Just, I can't nothing, think nothing. nothing. nothing Nothing. But this, this car's a really good car. We know the gentleman that owns this car, don't we? He's a very nice guy called James. He's a friend of ours. And the reason that you want this one, don't be fooled, guys, by the fact this car has what you would call patina. Is this patina? It is patina. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unusual. It's odd. It's not going to be loads of money. And it's had all the pain in the backside jobs done. So it's probably a good buy. It is, because what he has done, guys, so this car needs a little bit of cosmetic work, but the heater matrix has been done, the stainless steel fuel tank has been swapped, it's got five new Dunlops on. James has gone through this car from front to back with an amazing guy called Ralph Hosier. Check him out, he's on television. He's an ex-development engineer for manufacturers who now basically spanners and teaches people to do wonderful things with cars. He has gone through this car, and everywhere it matters on a Reliant, all the jobs that nobody does because you never see them, because the heater matrix, for example, is 20 hours. The whole dashboard has to come out. Yeah, it's horrendous. So everybody just bypasses them. This car has the heater matrix done with a new matrix. So bid away knowing that you can drive this car across Europe every single day, and then when you're ready and when you want to, and if you want to, you can do it up. So. Jules, we think this car could be about five and a half, six and a half, but let's hand it to Jules and see what he thinks. We're going to find out now, Paul. Thanks for that introduction. Reliant Scimitar GTE, ladies and gentlemen, interest here with me. I'm straight in, Paul, at 3234, 3,600 bid with me at 3,600 pounds. On the Reliant Scimitar GTE at 3,600 pounds. Fully mechanically sorted, as Paul was alluding to, 38 at 3,800 pounds, bid now at 3,800. On the World Wide Web, I'm out now. 4,000, thank you, gentlemen's bid in the room at 4,000 pounds, only bid at 4,000. On the scimitar, GTE, SE6, at 4,000 pounds. Against you all at home, ladies and gentlemen, at 4,000 pounds, I have 4,2. 4,4 four four is your next bid. At 4,400 pounds, only bid at 4,4. Four four. Still in the room at 4,400 pounds bid. On the Reliance scimitar, at 4,400, it is provisional, submitting the bid. At 4,400 pounds, 4,6. At 4,600 pounds, bid at 4,6. At four, it's, it's, it's not fun when people are bidding against you, is it? It's easy when it's just you at £4,600 bid. Still against you in the room. I'll take 47. 47 bid. Thank you, sir. At £4,700 bid at 4700 48. Back on the internet at £4,800 bid at 48. We all think it's a good one. Like Paul said, he knows the car personally. It has been run through mechanically. You know, I don't, we don't think you're going to have any problems with it mechanically at all. Turn the key, drive it. It's best we've ever driven. George has had a couple of them in the past. I've had one of them as well. This is a good one. At four thousand eight hundred pounds, still against you in the room at forty-eight hundred. Four nine. Thank you. The bank manager says four nine at four thousand nine hundred pound bid. At forty-nine hundred. <laughs> at four thousand five thousand. Oh dear. Back to the bank manager. You sure you're out? Take you a long time to find another. This had all this mechanical work done. You could find one with a prettier body, but certainly not with this level of mechanical thoroughness, that's for sure. At 5,000 pounds, only bit at 5,000. 
She's worth another hundred pounds. Five one. Thanks very much indeed. At five thousand one hundred pounds, bid at five one. Still provisional at fifty one hundred pounds. Five two. You're absolutely sure. I'll take a fifty pound note from you. There you go. At five thousand two hundred, bid at five two. Bank manager says yes. At five thousand two hundred. Still on the World Wide Web at 5,200. Still against you in the room. 5,250. None of your mates will have one of these. They won't even know what it is when you turn up to pick them up. At 5,250 pounds, your girlfriend might have something to say about it. Or 5,3. At 5,300, bid at 5,3. We're on sale. I'm on outright sale. Take another 50 pounds. You sure? Outright sale. Think of all the bragging rights. At 5,300 pounds only, but at 5,3. Proper exotic motor car. Haggerty's will insure it for you for next to nothing. 15% discount here today at 5,300 pounds. Say 50 again. At just 5,300. You sure? I'm sorry you didn't get this one. At 5,300 pounds, selling away, outright sale, make no mistake, on the scimitar. GTE at 5,300 pounds. She's going on the World Wide Web at 53.50. Back in at 5,350. Have to hurry on the internet. Selling away in the room. Sold at 5,350 in the room. Thank you. Very well done in the room at 5,350. Sold away. That was to number 264. Thank you. You're going to enjoy that one. I can assure you of that. Lot 45, ladies and gentlemen. Lot 45 in your catalogs is the Mercedes-Benz 190 SL. One of only 562 right-hand drive examples made. There you are, manual transmission on this one as well. We can't warrant the mileage, ladies and gentlemen, but it is believed, according to the vendor, to have covered just 41,600 miles from new. Recent body restoration as well, the subframes were off for that as well, proper, proper. Uh, restoration on a full engine rebuild that cost 15,000 pounds. She's been upgraded during that engine restoration to twin Webers as well. The carburetors, just three former keepers. Everything's photographically documented on file as well. And was previously restored, it says here, I nearly forgot this, during the early 1980s. And during that restoration, they could still find four genuine Mercedes Benz wings to put on her as well at that point in time in the 80s. They were still available. Has the hard top, some spare parts with her as well. There we are. What a fabulous motor car. Interest here starts you away at 75, 85 bid. At 85,000 pounds, bid with me at 85,000. 95, still with me at 95,000 pounds, bid at 95. At 95,000 pounds on the Mercedes. 190 SL at 95,000. 100. I'm out now at 100,000 pounds, bid at 100,000. On the telephone then at 100,000. On the Mercedes, 190 SL at 100,000 pounds bid. Against you in the room and against you around the globe. On the World Wide Web at 100,000 pounds only. Mine commission's out now at 100,000 pounds bid. Telephone bidder. On the phone with Sam at 100,000 pounds. Still against you in the room. Absolutely cracking piece of kit here at 100,000 pounds. Shout if I'm missing you anywhere else. Or I will submit the bid. 110. You sure? At 110,000 pounds, bid in the room at 110. I'll take 115 off the telephone. At 110,000. In the room, at 110,000. Five, if you like, on the telephone. Give you a moment to think. At 110,000 pounds. Coming in anywhere else, please give me a shout. At 110,000 pounds. On the 190, at 110,000. You're still out, Sam. Have to hurry, just to be fair to the gentleman, at 110,000. Finish and done then. Absolutely sure. It is provisional. At 110,000 pounds then, finish and done on the telephone. Try for you, sir, at 110,000. Just need your paddle number, please, at 110,000. Number 19, thanks very much. We will speak to the vendor for you as quickly as we possibly can to get you an answer on that one. Thanks very much indeed for your bid. There we go, George. Uh, lot 45, ladies and gentlemen, lot 45. Oh, sorry, we've just done that one. Sorry, beg your pardon. Lot 46, keep up, Julian. Lot 46 is the 1959 Austin A105 Westminster, the Vanden Pla. Just 28,000 miles, ladies and, gen ladies and gentlemen, she's covered. Is the, uh, it is a manual floor change model with the overdrive, 2.6 liter engine as fitted to the Austin Healy's. This one does move. Twin carbs on her as well. I know it's a heavy car, but it does move well. Fully original, 
comprehensive history file as well, loads of old MOT certificates on file. Let's have a look on the Austin Westminster. Thanks, George. Interest here starts me. Let's have a look. These are quite close. At uh, 16, 17 bid at 17,000 pounds. Bid with me at 17,000. On the Austin Westminster at just 17,000. That's against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at 17,000. Coming in again, if you like, I'll take another 1,000 pounds from you, currently at 18,000. Two commission bids, like I said, very, very close together. At 17,000 pounds, bid on my book at 17,000. On the Austin Westminster then, at just 17,000. You're all out, ladies and gentlemen, in the room. At 17,000 pounds, maiden commission bids against you in the room and against you around the globe, remember, at 17,000. Finishing done then, are we? Absolutely sure. At 17,000 bids here on my commission book then at 17,000. That one is not sold again, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. I can't submit that one. I'll do, I do have those two bids. We're just too far away. So again, please have a word with the sales team. Again, at home, if you are interested, please have a word with the sales team. If you change your mind, we'll let you know where you need to be. But I can't submit that one at just 17,000. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 47. Lot 47 is a 1950 Jowett Bradford utility van. There we are. Entered from the estate of renowned local collector, the late Chris Sugden Smith. Matching numbers is the Jowett Bradford. Matching numbers vehicle has a flat 900cc engine, if you're not that familiar with them. Appears to be largely original as well. Uh, has a 1950 registration number that was issued in Portsmouth as well. Interest on my commission book. Starts me away. There's no reserve on it, but I have had some commissions. Starts me away. Let's have a look at uh, 1800, 2000. At 2,000 pounds, bid with me at 2,000 pounds, only bid at 2,000. 2,2, two, two, I've got you in the room, 2,4. At 2,400 pounds, 2,5, 2,6. At 2,600 pounds, bid with me at 2,000, like, thanks for your bids anyway, at 2,600 pounds. Fresh bid at 2,7, 2,8. Still with me at 2,800 pounds, bid at 2,8. No reserve, remember, at 2,800 pounds. It's against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at just 2,800. On the Jowett Bradford van at 2,800 pounds. You're absolutely sure. You're both out at 2,800 I have. Finish and done. Absolutely sure. Leaving it behind then to my commission bidder at 2,800 pounds. Looks to be all there at 2,009. Thank you. Three bid. At 3,000 pounds, still bid with me at 3,000. You're still both out in the room at 3,000 pounds I have. Take 50 if it helps. At 3,000 pounds. Must be something I said walking away from me there at 3,000 pounds. That's one way to say no, Tom, isn't it? At 3,000 pounds, they've left the building. At 3,000 pound bid at 3,000, in disgust probably at three bid. Finish and done then, selling away on my commission book at 3,000 pounds, she's gonna go. <laughs> Sold away at 3,000 pounds. Okay, that is to see. number 3024, sold at 3,000. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalogues is lot 48, which I'll hand you over to Paul Cowland. Thank you very much, Jules. Right, everyone always asks us, me and Drew, Drew's here today, so say hello if you see him as well. People always ask us, what's the next big thing? What should we put our money into? And there's a pretty standard rule in classic car buying. There's a 25-year rule, and that's when cars get to 25 years old, People in their late 30s, 40s, and maybe even 50s tried to buy the cars that they wanted when they were teenagers or when they first started to drive. So stuff in the 90s is generally good news. We've got a minty Ford Probe in the sale. We've got this as well, 1999 Vauxhall Tigra Checkers Edition. It's only done a remarkable 32,000 miles, and the car has a couple of minute imperfections. I see a tiny bit on the wheel, the smallest scuff on the mirror, but this car, for maybe two or 300 pounds, could be made into a Concours car. They're fun to drive, you don't see them very often, no one bothered to save them, and the estimate on this car is somewhere between three and a half and four and a half thousand pounds. I think it's a lot of fun. I don't think you're gonna see another one. It's got the checkers interior. It's just very, very cool. Take it to the Haggerty Festival or the Unexceptional and be treated like a king or queen. Right, Jules, over to you. Let's see what it's worth. Thanks very much indeed, Paul. Vauxhall Tigra checkers, some commission interest here. I'm in at 1800, 2002. At 2200 bid at 2200. Absolutely for nothing, ladies and gentlemen, at 2200 pounds bid. 2426, still with me at 2600 pounds bid at 26, against you in the room at 2,600 pounds. Still on my commission book then at 2,600. Against you in the room, ladies and gentlemen, at 2,600 pounds. On the Tigra, at 2,600. At 2,600 pounds. Just 32,000 miles. 
at 2,600. Against your clients, I'm afraid there, Tom, at 2,600 I have at 2,600. Still on my commission book at 2,600. You're still out in the room. Special edition, MOT till next March, 27. And I'm out now at 2,700 pounds bid. On the internet then at 2,700. One family owner from new, ladies and gentlemen. March next year, the MOT at just 2,700. Modern classic. Find another special limited edition. Full factory book pack as well. Drives very well. You can see her on the video wall there. At, three, at 2,700 pounds against all my commission interest, ladies and gentlemen. Against you in the room as well. It is provisional. With Tom then. On the World Wide Web at 2,700 pounds. Finish and done. It is provisional at 2,700. Provisional. We'll try for you, Tom, at 2,700. That is provisional. 2,493 on the Tigra. We'll let you know at home as soon as we possibly can. Another couple of updates for you. Lot 36, ladies and gentlemen, the Porsche 911 SC Targa sold away at 28,500 pounds. And lot 28, the Jaguar XJ6 sold away at 5,400 pounds. And the last of those provisionals, lot 40, the fabulous Sunbeam Tiger sold away at 39,500 pounds. There we are. So we'll keep those updates coming for you as soon as I remember to give you them. Uh, lot 49. Fiat Panda, the 750 Fire Mania, just 26,000 miles showing there or thereabouts. One former keeper as well, MOT till next July. Recently serviced and inspected at the Fiat main dealer, SG Petch as well. Loads of old MOTs with the book pack as well. There we are, the Fiat Panda. And I'm straight in, no messing about at 2,000 pounds. Couple of commission bids there, bang on that money at 2,000. 2-2 two, two is your bid at home at 2,200. Both my commissions are out at 2,200. At least that's sorted out. Always causes a row when we have two people at the same. 2-4, back in the room at 2,400 pounds bid at 2-4. When that does happen, it's always the person who put the first commission in. 2-6, two, 2-7 two, if you like, sir. 2-7 bid in the room at 2,700 pounds bid at 2,700. On the Fiat Panda, 750. Fire Mania at 2,700. And it is provisional at 2,700 pounds. Coming in again if you like in the internet or anywhere else in the room at 2,700. On the Fiat Panda, finish and done then, are we? Absolutely sure, at 2,700, it is provisional. Fair warning at home, last chance anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen, at 2,700 pounds, you're all finished and you're done. It is provisional at 2,700. That is number 214, thank you, 214 at 2,700 pounds, provisional. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 50. 1970 Porsche 911T. Comprehensive uh, UK history and invoices. Matching set of Dunlop tires on her as well. Has that fabulous RS rear spoiler on her, that ducktail spoiler. Maintained and cared for according to the history file by renowned Porsche specialist Tech 9 Motorsport. Interest here on my book starts you at a very, well, quite speculative, actually. 24, 26,000. At 26,000 pounds, bid with me at 26,000. On the Porsche, 911T at just 26,000 pounds. Against you all in the room at 26,000. We're off and running at 26,000 pounds. Against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at 26,000. 28,000, 29,000. Still on my commission book at 29,000 pounds. On the 911, at 29,000 pounds. Against you on the internet. My commission bid now at 29,000 pounds. 30 if you like, 30 bid and I'm out now at 30,000 pounds on the 911. At 30,000 pounds bid on the internet. Against you in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Please shout, like I said, if I'm missing you anywhere in the room. Currently with Tom's internet bidder at 30,000. Against my commissions at 30,000 pounds then. Finish and done, last chance anywhere else. Well, I will submit it. I am a bit reluctant, but at 30,000, if that's all we're going to see, I will submit the bid. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, at just £30,000. Bids with Tom on the internet then at £30,000. Provisional then at £30,000. That's with you, Tom, at £30,000. 1072. 1072. Thank you on the World Wide Web. Lot 51, ladies and gentlemen, is the 1990 BMW 320i convertible, showing just 75,000 miles, fully original specification, Ma uh, March next year, the MOT, 12 service stamps in the book there with the original toolkit as well. Again, another really classy car. Interest here starts you at five and a half, six bid. At 6,000 pounds, bid with me at 6,000. On the BMW convertible, ladies and gentlemen, at just 6,000 pounds. 
six, five, seven thousand. Still with me, I'm afraid, Tom. At seven thousand pounds bid at seven thousand. At seven thousand pounds only bid with me on commission at seven thousand. Seven five is your bid at home at seven thousand five hundred. I'm out now. At seven and a half thousand pounds bid at seven five. Against you in the room at seven thousand five hundred pounds bid. I'll take it. Seven seven fifty in the room. Fresh bidder in the room at seven seven fifty. Against my commissions and against you at home. 8,000, still against you in the room at 8,000 pounds I have on the World Wide Web at 8,000. Thanks to your bids anyway in the room at 8,000 pounds I have bid. With Tom now, on the internet, against you in the room and against my commission bidders as well at 8,000 pounds. I'll take 250 again, ladies and gentlemen, if that'll help you. 8,250, fresh bidder on the internet. You're still out in the room at 8,250 I have now. Internet against internet bidding with Tom at 8,250. Fair warning to the underbidder, please look sharp. Don't want to miss your bid at all. 8.5, thank you. You're back in at 8,500. At 8,500 pounds, bid at 8,500. And we are provisional. Unless the owner's in and wants it to, we're on sale. Thank you. I've just had the nod. Outright sale now at 8,500 pounds. Finish and done then, are we? At 8,500. I'll take 8.6. We're on outright sale now, Tom. So see if we can squeeze another 100 pounds from that underbidder. At 8,500 pounds, 86, thank you. Still going at 8,600, bid at 86. At 8,600. Coming in again if you like. Fair warning to the underbidder at 8,600. Lovely motor car here at 8,600 pounds. There she is. Picture yourself behind the wheel. That's my colleague uh, Roger there driving this one out in the sun. 87. At 8,700 pounds, bid at 87. What did she drive like, Roger? This one. Did this one drive well, Roger? Eight, seven, yep, thumbs up from Roger. Nice driver at 8,700 pounds, but at 87. Finish and done, absolutely sure. Fair warning to that underbidder. One last time from your auctioneer this time, and I'm selling away at 8,700 pounds. 8A, eight, eight, right on the hammer. Dear me, at home, you left that to the last second. At 8,800. Coming in again, if you like. At 8,800 pounds bid. Finish and done on the internet. Fair warning, one last time from your auctioneer. Finished and done, selling away at 8,800. Sold away at 8,800 pounds to the World Wide Web. Two, oops, 2559. Five, Sold away. Sold, that should be an S. Sold away. Uh, lot 52, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalog. Lot 52 is the Bentley Turbo R. This has turned out, we had a little bit of correspondence, I'm sure you saw that on our social media pages. Uh, I had a little bit of correspondence with uh, Bentley Motors. They confirmed this was the very last Turbo R long wheelbase ever manufactured by the factory. Showing around about 80,000 miles on the Speedo. Next April is the MOT. Has a cracking MOT history. 21 old certificates there in the history file. 23 service stamps over two service books, ladies and gentlemen. Drives very well with the book pack. Interest here starts you at seven and a half bid. Eight and a half. Nine and a half, ten. My commission's out with you then, Tom, at £10,000, only bid at 10000 Against my commission then, at £10,000, bid on the World Wide Web at 10000 On the Bentley Turbo R, the very last long wheelbase Turbo R manufactured at £10,000 bid. On the World Wide Web, ladies and gentlemen, at 10000 Against my commission, ten and a half. At £10,500 bid now, still on the World Wide Web. You're all very quiet in the room. Thought there'd be a few people for this one. At £10,500 bid. Coming in again, if you like, fair warning to the underbidder at 10,500. You can't find another one of these. It's the last one. Last one manufactured, confirmed by Bentley Motors at 10,500 pounds. Fill it up to 11 if you want her at home or anywhere else in the room, or I will submit the bid. It is provisional. At 10,500 pounds, you're sure, Tom? I'll take 750, Tom. At 10,500 pounds, still provisional. Against you all in the room and against you at home. 750 if you like anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen, or I'm submitting the bid. At ten and a half thousand pounds, it is with Tom on the internet. Then against you in the room at ten and a half thousand, we'll try for you, Tom, at ten thousand five hundred pounds. Two five one eight. Thank you on the internet. Lot fifty three, nineteen fifty three, Land Rover eighty, Series one. Still has her original registration number and original registration plates on it. Edge, uh, just thirty four thousand miles. There or thereabouts, first owner had it for 50 years. Very, very original car, this one. Recently recommissioned by the Mark expert, uh, Jake Wright. I'm sure many of you know them. 
supplied with the correct tool roll and tool kit. Interest here starts me at 18, 20 bid, at 20,000 pounds, bid with me at 20,000. And against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at just 20, I have. On the Series 1 landing, at 20,000 pounds, bid at 20. Very, very original vehicle at 20,000 pounds. Cup 22, 24, still with me at 24,000. Still against you in the room. 26, fresh bidder, you're out. 27's my commission bid, you're out, both of you. At 27,000, 28,000 telephone, I'm out now. At 28,000 pounds, you're still out in the room. At 28, I have on the telephone with Sam at 28,000. Thanks to your bids anyway, further back. At 28,000 pounds, I have against my commission then. On the Series 1 Land Rover, at 28,000 pounds. Absolutely sure in the room. Coming in on the internet now, Tom, if you like. Nope, nothing there at 28,000 pounds. Telephone bidder then at just 28,000. Last chance anywhere else then at just 28,000 pounds. Again, I will submit that bid if that's all we're going to see on the Series 1 Land Rover at 28,000 pounds. You're all finished and done, you sure? At 28,000. Provisional Sam with your client 229. 229. 28,000. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 54. Lot 54 is the 1931 Lagonda 3-litre Tourano less. Showing on my left there, entered from the estate of renowned collector, the late Chris Sugden-Smith. Local collector, ladies and gentlemen, had the vehicle for 43 years. Been in the current ownership for 43 years. Had been in storage for 35 of those years in complete barn find condition there now, but was up running and driving and was displayed around the local show circuit prior to being uh, laid up for 35 years. Carries a Manchester registration number issued in 1931, still with the Lagonda Manchester Deansgate uh, dealer plate on the vehicle. Half tonneau cover with her as well, has the full uh, hood and frame with the buff logbook. Adjustable shockers there by Andre Hartford. Radiator stone guard looks absolutely fabulous, doesn't she? Engine turns freely. We haven't started it, but she does turn over nice and freely. We've run some oil into the bores as well. Interesting, as you would expect on the Lagonda, starts you at 55,000 pounds. Bid with me at 55,000. On the Lagonda at 55,000. On my commission book then at 55,000. 58,000, 60 bid. Still with me at 60,000 pounds. Bid with me on commission at 60,000 on the Lagonda then at 60,000. 62, 65. Still with me at 65,000 pounds. Bid. Lagonda, ladies and gentlemen, at 65,000 pounds. Against you at home as well and against you everywhere else in the room at 65,000 pounds I have. Against you on the telephone at 65,000. Next bid, 68 if you like. But at 65,000 pounds I have bid. On my commission book then at 65,000. Against you all in the room at just 65,000 pounds. On the Lagonda then at 65,000. Next bid 68 if you want to come back in on the telephone. Still with me at 68,000. On my commission book then at 68,000. Still against you in the room at 68,000 pounds I have. On the Lagonda then at 68,000. Finish and done then are we already at 68,000. 70,000. 72,000. Still with me sir at 72,000 pounds. 75,000, 78,000, 80. One with me, sir, at 81,000 pounds bid. 82, I'm out. At 82,000 pounds, you're out on the telephone as well. At 82,000 pounds, I have gentlemen in the room. At 82,000 pounds on the Lagonda, and it is provisional, submitting the bid then. At 82,000 pounds. Ooh, gentleman scratched his head at the back there. I nearly thought he was bidding against you there, sir, but he was actually genuinely just scratching his head at 82,000. Bid still with you against the pillar. Smiling away at the back there at 82,000 pounds. Finish and done. At 82,000. Coming in again, if you like, anywhere else. At just 82,000 pounds, and it is provisional. On the Lagonda then. At 82,000 pounds, finish and done. Try for you again, sir, at 82,000 pounds. That one is provisional at the moment. Number 19, thank you. Number 19. We'll see what we can do for you on the Lagonda. Lot 48, the lovely Vauxhall Tigra, um, as uh, described by the equally lovely Paul Cowland, sold away at £3,000. That was the Tigra Checkers Limited Edition. Provisional, wasn't it, that last one? Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 55, the 1934 Triumph Gloria 6, 12.9 horsepower, one of only seven produced to this specification. 
subject to an absolutely total restoration as well. Um, full weather gear with a large selection of invoices and the Buff Logbook as well. Absolutely wants for nothing. You could eat your dinner off that anywhere you wanted to. Fitted with flashing indicators as well, uh, obviously for current road safety as well. Interest here starts you at 28.30 bid. At 30,000 pounds, bid with me at 30,000. On the Triumph Gloria 6 at just 30,000. Maiden commission bids against you all, ladies and gentlemen. At 30,000 pounds, bid with me at 30. It's against you all in the room at just 30,000. 32, I've got you, sir. Thank you. 34. 35 is your bid, and I'm out now. At 35,000 pounds, bid in the room at 35,000. Against my commission interest, then at 35 in the room. Finished and done, then, are we? It is provisional. At 35,000 pounds. Give me a shout if you want to come in anywhere else at just 35,000. Last chance, then, at 35,000 pounds. Bids with you in the room at 35,000. I'll try for you at 35,000. That is 299. 299 at 35,000 pounds. Provisional. Thanks, George. Lot 56, ladies and gentlemen, is the 1999 Honda Civic Type R. There we are, modern Japanese classic for you, ladies and gentlemen, here, showing 103,000 kilometers. That equates to around about 64,000 miles. It's in kilometers, of course, because it's originally been imported from Japan. MOT till uh, July this year. Has been in its current ownership since it came into the country in 2007. Had a new cam belt a couple of years ago. Red Recaros on it, front and rear strut bars, adjustable coilovers, proper machine here. If you're into these type of cars, the JDM scene, this is the one to get. Even got a B16 registration plate. Like I said, if you're into them, you'll be fully aware it's a B16 B engine that's fitted the, to these particular Civic Type R's. So quite a nice little private reg on her as well. Loads of commission interest here. I'm in at five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight bid. At 8,000 pounds, bid with me at 8,000. On the Civic Type R at 8,000 pounds, bid with me at 8. 85, 9,000. Is your bid, sir, at 9,000? 95, 10,000. In the room at 10,000 pounds, only bid at 10,000. Against my commissions and against you on the World Wide Web at 10,000 pounds, I have at 10. Coming in again, if you like, at just 10,000 pounds. Next bid's 500. At 10,000 pounds, I have. In the room then, at 10,000 pounds. 10, 5. 11,000. At 11,000 pounds bid now at 11,000 on the Honda Civic. Type R at 11,000 pounds bid. Against you at home, ladies and gentlemen, at 11,000 pounds only. At just 11,000 on the Honda Civic. Absolutely for nothing. These are my kind of machines, these. At 11,000 pounds bid. It is your bid, sir, in the room at 11,000. Coming in again, if you like, anywhere else at just 11,000 pounds. At 11,000. Absolutely sure. Finish and done at just 11,000 pounds on the Honda Civic. It's against you at home. I'll take 250 if that'll help you at home. At 11,000 pounds, bid now at 11,000. On the Honda Civic at just 11,000. Type R, ladies and gentlemen, 11,000. Bid in the room. Gentlemen's bid in the room, and it is provisional. At 11,000 pounds, absolutely sure. Finish and done then, are you? At 11,000 pounds, provisionally selling then. Gentlemen's bid in the doorway at just 11,000 pounds. Provisional will try, try for you, sir, 11,000. That is 272, 272, 11,000. It is provisional, provisional. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 57, the 1987 Mazda 323 GTX Turbo 4x4. Quite a mouthful there, isn't it? Never seen one of these before with this uh, flared arch kit on her whatsoever. She's in full competition specification if you viewed her. Full roll cage, strengthening bars on her as well, harness seat belts, fire extinguisher on her as well. Like I said, never seen this wide arch kit. Um, anyway, there, there we go. In the sale room, um, interest here starts you at 3,000, 32, 34, 36 bid. At 3,600 bid with me at 3,600. On the Mazda, 323 GTX Turbo, 4x4 four four at 3,600 pounds. On my commission book then at 3,600. And it's against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at just 3,600 pounds. Made in commission bids against you in the room. Against you at home as well at just 3,600 pounds. At 3,6. Coming in again, if you like, at just 3,600. It is provisional. At 3,600 pounds. Absolutely sure in the room. Shaking your heads. At 3,600. Competition spec. Mazda 323 GTX Turbo. At 3,600 pounds. Finishing done then, you're sure. At 3,600 finished and done. 
That one is provisional, ladies and gentlemen, at 3,600. That is 1900. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 58, is the 1971 Bentley T1 MOT till October this year. Only one former keeper in the current ownership since 1995. With the correct Avon tires on her as well. Green leather interior on this one. New sills fitted back in 2021 as well. She's been quite nicely looked after. Just one former keeper until 1995. Interest here starts you at six and a half, seven and a half thousand. Bid with me at seven and a half thousand. On the Bentley T1 at seven and a half thousand pounds. Bid now at seven and a half. On the T1 then at just 7,500. Finish and done then, are we? You're absolutely sure at seven and a half. Maiden bids against you all at just 7,500. It's against you in the room. 8,500. Still with me at eight and a half thousand pounds. Bid on my commission book now at eight and a half thousand pounds. At eight and a half. Coming in again if you like. Fill it up to 9,000 anywhere else if you like. Nine bid and a half at 9,500 pounds bid. Still against you, I'm afraid, Tom. Against you at home at nine and a half thousand pounds I have. Fill it up to 10,000 on the Bentley T1. At nine and a half thousand pounds on my commission book, ten thousand. I'm out now. At ten thousand pounds bid on the internet with Tom, and he, it's against you all in the room, ladies and gentlemen. At ten thousand pounds on the Bentley, finishing down there now. He provisionally submitting the bid. You've seen how those provisional bids have converted over time through the sale. Don't be shy. If you're looking to bid at ten thousand pounds, still on the internet then. Oh yes. Oh no, he isn't. No, he's he's just they're, they're just having a bit of fun at the back there and. You know, just waving at you, Tom. Maybe it's a fan. <laughs> 10,000 pound only bit at 10,000. Yeah, there you go, it is. 10,000 pounds only bit at 10,000. <laughs> at 10 bid. Finishing done then. Selling away. Sorry, provisionally selling away at 10,000 pounds only on the internet. We will try for you, Tom, at 10,000. 2535. Five. Thank you on the internet. Again, we'll be in touch with you as soon as we can once we've spoken to the vendor on that T1. Lot 59, 1957, Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud 1, the James Young Touring Limousine. She's been in one family ownership from new, has a very interesting history as well. Previously comprehensively restored, still looks a very, very bonny car. Very imposing, isn't she? Um, March next year, the MOT, showing round about 86,000 miles. Aircon. Power steering, all the kit there for 1957. Thought to be one of only 16 cars with this James Young Touring body style. There we are. Interest with me. Starts your way on this one at 24, 26,000. At 26,000 pounds, bid with me at 26,000. On the Silver Cloud, James Young. At 26,000 pounds, bid with me at 26,000. Very, very bonny car comprehensive history file at 26,000 pounds. Bid with me at 26,000. Against you all in the room then at 26,000. Coming in again if you like for 28. On the James Young at just 26,000 pounds. Absolutely sure in the room at 26,000. Finished and done then at just 26,000 pounds. Provisional. On my commission book at 26,000 pounds. Finished and done then. Are you absolutely sure? I'll take it sir. 27,000. 28 I have. 29,000. 500, still with me at 29 and a half. Thanks for your bids anyway. 29,500 pounds, still bid with me on commission. At 29 and a half thousand pounds, you're absolutely sure in the room, you're out. You're out around the globe as well at 29,500 pounds. That is provisional with me at 29 and a half thousand. Provisional then at 29,500. That is 1013. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 60, which is the 1971 Ford Escort Mexico. Just three former keepers on the Mexico, subject to a very comprehensive restoration. Needs the interior putting back in and finishing along with a few cosmetics, but has had a very, very nice repaint. It did say, we've put a sale room notice on this one, actually. It does say paintwork was carried out by JV Restorations. Now, they have been in touch with us. They can't confirm that according to their records at all. So we're having to say that the paintwork was not carried out by JV Restorations. Um, just requires finishing, like I said, 
very, very bonny car. Once you put the interior in, this is going to look fantastic around the display circuit. Interest here with me starts your way at 20, 22, 24,000 pounds. Bid with me at 24,000. On the Escort Mexico at 24,000 pounds. On my commission book at 24,000. Coming in again, if you like, then at 24,000. At just 24,000 pounds. On my commission book at 24, 26, 28. Still with me at 28,000 pounds. Bid with me at 28,000. On my commission book then at 28,000 pounds. It's against you in the room at 28,000. Against you on the World Wide Web as well. Still against your client, Tom. I've got you 29. I'll take 30 I have. At 30,000 pounds, I have at me at 30,000. Still on my commission book at 30. You're out in the room, I'm afraid. Still on my commission at 30,000. You're out at home as well at 30,000 pounds. Commission bidder at 30,000 pounds. Not your bid in the room, I'm afraid. At 30, I have. I'll take 31 if that'll help you. Currently with me at 30,000 pounds, still bid at 30,000. You're still out on the internet as well, on the Escort Mexico. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, finish and done. And I will sell her away, outright sale at 30,000 pounds. Last chance in the room. Give me a shout if you want to come back in on selling away at 30,000. Sold away at 30,000 pounds on the Mexico. Let's have a look, that is three. 006 sold away at 30,000 pounds. Lot 61, ladies and gentlemen, was the absolutely fabulous Humber 1650 Saloon, which I was really looking forward to auction, seeing as uh, our very own Fuzz Townsend had consigned it for sale. But that sold prior to the sale uh, for way above the top estimate, sold for 13,800 pounds. So that one's already sold away, I'm afraid. Lot 61. Lot 62, we move on to any catalogues. Make no mistake there. That is uh, the 1936 Jowett van. Again, entered from the estate of renowned local collector, the late Chris Sugden-Smith. Flat twin 900cc engine. Appears to be largely original. Carries a 1936 registration number, which was issued in Taunton, Somerset. There's no paperwork with her, but that's where the registration comes from. No reserve whatsoever on the Jowett van. Nothing on my book. Start me away at 500 pounds, and she's worth that all day long. Absolutely nothing on my commission book. Start me away at 500. On the Jowett van, five bid. At 500 pounds, only bid at 500. On the internet, then, with Tom at five bid. At 500 pounds. No reserve, remember, ladies and gentlemen, 600. At 600 pounds, bid 700. At 700 pounds, internet against internet bidding. You're all very quiet in the room. 800, still going at 800 pounds. 900, I've got you, sir. In the room, Tom, 1,000. 1,100, back in the room. Sorry about that, sir. I was missing you before. I do apologize. 11 bid, 1,200, 1,300. Back in the room at 1,300 pounds, bid at 1,300. On the Chowat van, 1,400. 1,500, says the gentleman in the room. At 1,500 pounds, bid at 15. 1,600. 1,700, thank you, sir. You're still in. At 1,700 pounds, bid in the room at 1,700. Against all your bidders there, I'm afraid, Tom. At 1,700 pounds, bid. 1936, Jowett Van. At 1,700 pounds. 1,800. 1,900. Thank you, sir. At 1,900 pounds, bid now at 19. Bids in the room. Against you at home. Fair warning from your auctioneer. Make no mistake. No reserve. Selling away right from the first bid. At 1,900 pounds, I have. Fill it up to 2,000 if you want to return or I'm selling away. Gentlemen's bid in the room. Taking it home then at 1,900 pounds, you're all finished and done at home. Yours, sir, at 1,900. That is number 28. Thank you. Sold away at 1,900 pounds. Sold. Uh, lot 52, ladies and gentlemen, the Bentley Turbo, the long wheelbase, last one manufactured. Sold away at 10,500 pounds. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 63, which is the 1936 Austin. 10 for Sherborne, I think you pronounce that. I hope I'm correct with that. Um, running and driving with the opening windscreen. Lucas headlamps on it, recently retrimmed. Has the semaphore indicators, fabric roof on her as well. Has been stood for a little while. So will require some recommissioning there. The Austin 10 for Sherborne. Nothing on my book on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Start me away at 2,000 on the Austin. Start me away at 2,000 pounds, surely wear at 2,000. On the little Austin 10.4, start me away at 2,000. Like I said, nothing on my commission book at all. Running and driving, you can see her there in our car park. Start me away at 2,000. On the Austin, 
Nobody for it all. Thank you, sir. At 2,000 pounds, bid at 2,000. Bids in the room then at 2,000 pounds, only bid at 2,000. Gentlemen's bid in the room at 2,000. Nothing on my book, like I said, at 2,000 pounds. I will submit the high bid, whatever that turns out to be. I'd like to see a little bit more than 2,000. Next bid's 2,2 if you want to come in. Currently at 2,000 pounds, only bid at 2,000. I will submit the bid. Gentlemen's bid in the room at 2,000. 2,2. Two, two. Fresh bidder, sir, further back at 2,200. 2,4. Two, at £2,400 bid at 2.4. Like I said, I'm going to submit the high bid on this one, no matter what we get. At £2,400 bid at 2.4. 2.5 is that, sir? 2.5. Still going at £2,500. Do you the same favour, sir. Your next bid would be 2.6. 2.6, thank you. At £2,600, only bid at 2.6. Still staying those £100 notes for you, sir. At £2,600. Next bid's 2.7 if you want to come back in. Thanks for your bids anyway. £2,600, I have bid in the room at 2600 Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, I will submit the bid. If that's all we're going to see at £2,600, finish and done, you sure, at two six. We will try for you, sir, at 2600 It is provisional, but you never know. Just need your paddle number, please, if you don't mind. 216, thank you. 2600 provisional. See what we can do for you when we speak to the vendor. Next lot is lot 64. Lot 64 is the 1934 Rolls-Royce 2025 Part Ward D-Back Saloon. There we are, a bit of a mouthful there as well. Has had a replacement aluminium cylinder head in the past. They now cost £7,800 if you want to buy one of those. She has had one in the past. Aftermarket heater on as well. Picnic tables, foot rests on her as well. Red leather interior. You can't get more decadent than all that, can you? None of that happens in today's machinery. Opening windscreen with the Lucas headlamps as well. Interest here on the 2025 starts you at 11, 12 bid. At 12,000 pounds, bid with me at 12,000. On the Rolls Royce, ladies and gentlemen, at just 12,000 pounds, bid at 12,000. Coming in again, if you like, anywhere else in the room at 12, I have. Next bid's 13,000 if you want to put your hand in the air at 12, I have. On my commission book then at 12,000. Against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at just 12,000. 13,000, thank you, 14 bid. Still with me at 14,000 pounds. 15,000. Thank you, Peter. At 15, I've got you. 16 bid. Still with me at 16,000 pounds. Bid at 16,000. You're still out, I'm afraid. Thanks anyway for your bids. At 16,000 pounds, bid at 16. At 16,000. On my commission book then at 16,000. Against you on the telephones. Against you everywhere else in the room. At 16,000, I have. On the 2025 Rolls Royce. At just 16,000. What an imposing vehicle there. In our car park. On the video wall. At 16,000 pounds. Finish and done then, are we? Absolutely sure I will submit the bid then at £16,000 on the Rolls-Royce at 16000 Provisional at 16000 that is 1863, 1863 at 16000 provisional. Next lot is lot 65, the 1951 Bentley Mark VI Saloon. Comprehensive body and mechanical restoration during the 1980s. Still carrying its original registration number in the current ownership since 1997. Factory sliding sunroof as well. In her original color combination as well, which is always nice to see. Entered from the estate of a very well-known collector as well. Let's have a look here. Interest here starts you away on my commission book again at six and a half, seven bid. At £7,000, bid with me at 7000 On the Bentley Mark VI Saloon. At £7,000, bid with me at 7000 Seven five eight bid. Still with me at £8,000, bid at 8000 It's against you at home and against you in the room. At eight, I have bid at £8,000. Coming in again, if you like, anywhere else. At £8,000, only bid at 8000 Next bid's eight and a half. At £8,000, I have. On my commission book, then at eight. Got you in the room at eight and a half, fresh bidder, 9,000. Still with me, too slow on the internet, taking the gentleman in the room, still at 9,000. You're out in the room, you're out on the World Wide Web at 9,000 pounds, bid at 9,000. Still on my commission book, on the Bentley Mark VI Saloon at 9,000 pounds. Coming in again for another 500 pound note. If they do them, do they do 500 pound notes? They do in Scotland, don't they? Do they have them in Scotland? Dear me, I talk a load of rubbish half the time, and the other half is just as bad. 9,500 bid, and I'm out now. At 9,500 pounds bid at 9,500. Let me know, Roger, if I say anything sensible in the next half hour. At 9,500 pound bid at 9,500. No chance of that, apparently. At 9,500 pounds. On the internet, with Tom. 
at nine and a half thousand against my commissions, against you on the telephone, Will, at nine and a half thousand pounds, still shaking your head on the telephone, at nine and a half I have on the internet then. It is provisional, submitting the bid with Tom against you all in the room at nine and a half thousand. We'll try for your client there, Tom, at nine and a half thousand pounds. That is provisional. 1753, provisional. Thank you on the internet. Next slot is lot 66, which is the 1956 MG Magnet ZA. The ZA, real, real, real nice restoration, all the way back in 1996, but it doesn't look like it was restored that long ago at all. Reconditioned, a 1.5 liter engine, reconditioned carbs, full brake overhaul, that costs 3,700. Lots of work done in 2012 as well. Bills on file for £1,700 for those. £570 spent on the leather treatment. It goes on and on and on in the history file. It's been properly cherished, wanted for nothing through its entire life, this particular vehicle, or certainly while it's been with our vendor. Interest here starts me away on my commission book at nine and a half, ten and a half thousand bid. At £10,500 bid with me at ten and a half on the MG Magnet ZA at ten and a half thousand pounds. Coming in anywhere else if you like at ten and a half. At ten thousand five hundred pounds I have bid at ten and a half on my commission book and it is provisional. At ten and a half thousand pounds only bid at ten and a half. At ten thousand five hundred, eleven thousand five hundred. Still with me in the on my book at eleven thousand, twelve thousand, two fifty. Still at twelve thousand two hundred and fifty pounds bid at twelve two fifty. You're still out in the room, I'm afraid. On my commission book at twelve two fifty. At twelve thousand. 250 pounds, and it is provisional at 12,250. Coming in anywhere else if you like. We're on sale at 12,250 pounds. Just had the nod off the owner at 12,250. Selling away outright sale. Coming in again if you like for 12 and a half. Or I'm selling away at 12,250 pounds only. She's selling. Sold away at 12,250. That is, let's have a look. Um, 1,001, the buyer there. 1,001 at 12,250. Next lot is lot 67, the 1979 MGB GT. MOT till next March. Manual overdrive. It's actually an Ivor Searle two-litre stage two engine, so it's been breathed on somewhat with the overdrive. Four former keepers with the chrome wires as well. Very sharp-looking MGB GT there. Good history file with her as well. Lots of previous MOT certificates. Interest here starts your way at 384,000 bid. At 4,000 pounds bid with me at 4,000 on the MGB at just 4,000. Coming in again if you like at just four. At 4,000 pounds. Maiden commission bids against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at 4,000 pounds on the MGB. At 4,000 pounds. Next bid's 4,2 if you want to come in anywhere in the room. Currently at 4,000 pounds. You're all out in the room at just 4,000. On the MGB, you're absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, at 4,000 pounds. It is provisional. I will submit that bid then at just 4,000 pounds. On the MGB, 4-2, four, 4-4, four, four. still with me, Tom, at 4,400 pounds. Against you at home, I'm afraid, at 4,400. With the Ivor Searle engine, 4-6, four, 4-8. Four, still my bid at 4,800 pounds, bid at 4-8. Fill it up to 5,000 at home. Five bid, I'm out now. At 5,000 pounds, bid on the World Wide Web at 5,000. MGB, GT, with the Ivor Searle, stage two engine at just 5,000 pounds. You're all out in the room. My commission's out as well at 5,000 pounds. Bids with Tom, and it is provisional. Submitting it then at 5,000 pounds only against you all. We will try for you on the internet at just 5,000 pounds. That is provisional. 2558. Thank you on the internet. Lot 68, ladies and gentlemen, is the 1981 Toyota Celica ST. Had a close look at this one. This is a proper nice, nice example. January, next year, the MOT has had a full body respray. All the rot's been cut out as well. Been done really nicely. Comprehensive history file as well. Invoices go all the way back to 1993. Um, and we've got old MOT certificates back a little bit more than that to 1989. There we are, the Celica ST. Interest here starts you away. No messing about. I've had a couple of commissions. They're bang on the money again at seven, seven and a half, eight bid. At 8,000 pounds, bid with me at 8,000. 
at £8,000, only been at £8,000. On my commission book, ladies and gentlemen, at £8,000. Like I said, two of them absolutely banged together at £8,000. Eight five, they're both out now at £8,500. Bid on the internet at £8,500. On the Celica, ladies and gentlemen, ST from 1981. Like I said, all the rot's been cut out of this one. Painted underneath as well. Nice interior on it at £8,500. On the Toyota Celica, on the internet then. You're all very quiet in the room again. Against my commission interest, I'm selling away. Sorry, provisional, nearly did the right, nearly sold it away. 9,000, and I'm on sale. Thank you, sir. 9,000 pounds. Thanks, Tom, for keeping me right. At nine bid, outright sale, nine and a half thousand. On the internet, nine and a half. Ten bid, at 10,000 pounds, bid in the room at 10,000. On the sleeker, 10,500. I'll take 750, gentlemen, if that'll help you. Properly done, I've had a close look. I used to own one of these. I used to have a GT lift back, 750. At 10,750, used to have a GT liftback, I paid 500 quid for it. Can you believe that? Back in the day, 1991, sold it to a guy from Liverpool. Wonder where that is now. What a nice car that was. 11,000. Thanks for your bids anyway, gentlemen. 11,000 pounds, only bid 11,000. It's always the case, all the old cars you own never come back again, do they? At 11,000 pounds bid. Finished and done then. At 11,000 pounds on the World Wide Web. Outright sell then with Tom against you both in the room at, at 11,000 pounds. I'm selling away. Sold away at 11,000. That is your client's Tom at 11,000. 2477. Thanks very much indeed on the internet. Sorry about that, gentlemen, that you missed out on that one. Lot 69, lot 69, 1991 Porsche 928 S4. There's another Celica coming up though. ST202, I still own one of them. I've still got one of them. Didn't let that one go. Um, Porsche 928 S4, lot 69. There we are, over 10,000 pounds spent in the history file since 2016. August this year, the MOT has the original toolkit, all weather car cover with her as well. With the sunroof, with the sunroof, ladies and gentlemen. And I noticed 2,000 pounds has been spent this year on her alone. There we are. Anyway. Interest here, in fact, there's nothing on my book on this one. Sorry, that was on the Toyota Celica, wasn't it? Nothing on my book for this one. Start me away. Where do you want to be? Start me at 7,000 pounds on the 928. Start me away at 7,000. Nothing on my book at all. Seven bid at 7,000 pounds. Bid on the World Wide Web at 7,000. I've got 7,500 in the room. Sorry about that. In the room at 7,500 pounds. You're both out on the internet. 7,500 pounds bid. Gentleman's bid in the room at 7,500. 8,000. At £8,000, bid now at 8000 On the World Wide Web at £8,000. Thanks to you bid anyway in the room. At £8,000, I have. On the internet then, at just 8000 Eight five. still going at £8,500. you are still all out in the room. Please shout if I'm missing you anywhere. Tom's got pretty sharp eyes, but give us a shout if either of us are missing you. At just £8,500 bid on the 928. Nine bid at £9,000. Like I said, £10,000 spent on her since 2016. At 9,000 pounds, bid with me at just 9,000. Sorry, on the internet, beg your pardon. At 9,000 pounds, bid with Tom at 9,000 pounds. Coming in again if you like at home. I'll take 250 from them, Tom. I'm going to submit the bid on this one, whatever we get. 9,250 at 9,500. Thank you at home at 9,500. Like I said, I'm submitting the bid at 9,500. You see now those are the provisional bids have converted through the sale. Don't be shy at 9,500. We're easy to deal with. At 9,500. 750 is your next bit if you want to come back in at home. Fair warning from your auctioneer then. You're absolutely sure. On the 928. At 9,500 pounds. Finish and done. It is provisional. Submitting the bid then. At 9,500 pounds only. Provisional Tom. We will try for your client at 9,500. 2501. Thank you at home. We'll see what we can do for you. You never know. Lot 70, ladies and gentlemen, is the 1980 Triumph Spitfire 1500. This has been professionally done from head to tail for fast road and track use. Very, very nice piece of kit again. This was done back in 2010. It cost, 14 and a, cost our vendor £14,500 to put her into this specification. Had a bare metal respray prior to that back in 2001. Uh, does have the uh, rare factory hardtop. Lots of receipts in the uh, very good history file with her. Does have the original bonnet. Currently, it's got a, a fiberglass one fitted for that fast road spec. The vendor does still have the original bonnet, but you'll need to pick that up 
from the vendor's house in Somerset, but it does come complete with the car. Right, let's have a look here. On the Triumph Spitfire, interest starts you at six and a half thousand pounds. Bid with me at six and a half thousand. On the Triumph Spitfire then. Fast road spec at just six and a half thousand pounds. Bid at six and a half. Against you all at home and against you at seven thousand, seven five. Still with me at seven thousand five hundred pounds. Bid at seven five. Eight thousand. Eight two fifty is my bid at eight thousand two hundred and fifty bid at eight two fifty. Eight and a half, I'm out. At eight and a half thousand pounds bid with you at home, ladies and gentlemen, at eight and a half thousand pounds. Fast road spec, Triumph Spitfire, fifteen hundred. Cost fourteen and a half thousand pounds back in twenty twenty. Dread to think how much it'd cost now to put it into this condition. At eight and a half thousand pounds bid on the World Wide Web against my commission interest then at just eight and a half thousand pounds. You're absolutely sure. Finished and done everywhere else around the globe. It is provisional then submitting the bid at eight and a half thousand pounds with Tom. Try for you, Tom. That is provisional at 8,500. 2492. Thank you at home. We'll see what we can do for you. Provisional at this moment in time. Lot 71 is the. Oh, oh uh, sorry about that, okay, Paul. I do apologize. I just like speaking all the time. I'll hand you over to uh, Paul Callum for the next lot. Thank you very much, Jules. Now imagine the scene, ladies and gentlemen. It's 1992. You're a very successful sales rep. You've sold a lot of photocopy toner. You've gone to your boss and you've asked for this. You've asked for probably the coolest car of the time. Every dad wanted one. I know my dad did. The Cavalier SRI. This one's lovely. It's probably the best color in white. It's got these very cool, non-standard, but really nice Opal, not Vauxhall, GSI wheels. It's in really nice thick. And again, we're talking about cars that are on the way up, cars that are worth putting your money into. We all know what fast Fords fetch of this era. The answer is a large amount. Vauxhalls, for whatever reason, haven't quite caught them up yet. So I think there's a real chance here to buy a car that's gonna be a lot of fun to use. It's got factory roof, electric front windows. It's got great service history. It's only done 88,000 miles. I think this would be a wonderful car to use, enjoy and watch, appreciate. We've got it estimated between three and 5,000 pound jewels. Let's see what we can get for her. Thanks very much indeed, Paul. Yep, 92 Vauxhall Cavalier SRI 16 valve. I can remember when these were all over the place. They just don't exist anymore, do they? They've just all melted away. Anyway, this one, March 2023, the MOT, just three former keepers with the sunroof, matching tires on the correct period alloys as well. Uh, has had some recent uh, mechanical work done as well. 460 pounds spent on it there. Invoices go all the way back to 1999 with the book pack and wallet as well. Interest here on my commission book starts me away. Let's have a look at um, 1800, 2200, 24. At 2400 pounds, 25, 26. Still with me at 2600. 28, 3000. Still with me, sir, at 3000 pounds, bid at three. On my commission book at 3000. Next bid's 3-2 if you want to come back in. I've got 3-2 further back, 3-4. You're both out and you're out on the instead at 3-4 I have. Bid on my commission book at 3,400. Can take either of you at 3,6. 3,6. Um, ooh, crikey, I've got to be careful here. 3,7. At 3,700 pounds, bid at 3,7. Coming in again if you like. At 3,700 pounds. 3,8. 4,000. Against you on the telephone. Against you further back. Against you further forward. Against you on the internet. Still on my commission book at 4,000. I'm on outright sale. 4 twos your bid in the room. In the room, I'm afraid, Tom. All my commissions are out. Still selling in the room. On the Cavalier SRI. 4-4. Four, 4-6. Four. Four, Thank you. Back in the room at 4-6. All my commissions are out. You'll be pleased to know it. 4,600. 4-8. Four, Back on the World Wide Web. You sure, gentlemen? I'll take 4-9. 5,000. Still going at 5,000. You're out there, George. Thank you. 5-2. Internet against internet bidding at 5,200 pounds. You're all out in the room at 5,200 pounds bid. At 5,200. On the Cavalier, SRI at 5.2, 5.3. Thank you, Tom. I was just going to say try another 100 pounds at 5.3. On outright sale, ladies and Been on sale for ages, haven't we, at 5,300. Again, Paul, this is a good one, isn't it? 5.4 at 5,400 pounds, but at 5.4. Better than money in the bank, this one. Put this to bed for another five years. I'd dread to think what it would be. Well into five figures. 5,400 pounds, bid at 5.4. Coming in again, if you like, on the World Wide Web. Slipping through your fingers currently at 5,400. So fair warning from your auctioneer to the underbidder at just 5,400 pounds. Finished and done. Selling away. Outright sale. On the internet then 
against you in the room, 5-5. Five, five. Right at the death, at 5,500 pounds bid. Give the underbidder a chance to come back. 5-6, thank you, at 5,600 pounds bid. On the SRI Cavalier, at 5,600 pounds, only bid at 5-6. Fair warning, absolutely sure at home. Last chance, last roll of the dice. You're leaving it behind, and I'm selling away. At 5,600 pounds, with Tom then at 5,600. Sold away, that has sold for 5,600. Two, three, one, zero. Thank you very much indeed on the internet. I'm sure you'll be very pleased with that one. Uh, lot 72, ladies and gentlemen, is the 1991 Land Rover Defender 90 showing on my right there. Very comprehensively restored just last year. It has the 300 TDI engine, five-speed gearbox as well. Brand new seats fitted front and rear as well. Over three and a half thousand pounds worth of parts were used last year for that restoration. Let's have a look. Interest here starts your way at 10, 11 bid. At 11,000 pounds, bid with me at 11,000. On the Land Rover Defender 90, at 11,000 pounds. Comprehensively restored, ladies and gentlemen, at 11,000 pounds. On the Land Rover, on my commission book then at just 11,000 pounds. You're all out in the room, you're absolutely sure. Made in commission bids at just 11,000 pounds. On the Land Rover Defender, you're absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, at 11,000 pounds, against you at home against you around the globe, against you in the room as well, at 11,000 pound I have, maiden commission bid, on the defender then at just 11,000 pounds, you're all out. That one is not sold, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I'm too far away to be able to submit that commission bid. So again, please have a word with the sales team. Uh, just call them at some point during today's sale or give us a ring over the next couple of days. We'll let you know where you want to be, but that one is not sold at 11,000 pounds. And it's back over to Paul. Sorry, Paul. I, I'm rubbish at this, aren't I? Back over to Paul <laughs> Callum for lot 73. When you're ready. Camera's died. Oh, there we go. We'll do, we'll do an old-fashioned one. Just do you. Yep. The camera's gone, but I'm going to give you a little walk around. So this next lot I really like because everyone knows the Porsche 911 is great news financially, but whatever. Oh, the camera's back up. There you go. So the 944 I particularly like because they represent to me one of the more cost-effective ways of getting into Porsche ownership. They used to be called very unfairly in period the poor man's Porsche, but they're not because dynamically this car is actually even nicer to drive because you get the transaxle. So you've got the engine at the front. It's a four-pot, three-liter on the S2. It's a very, very nice engine. You've got the transaxle at the rear. So the weight distribution on the 944 for the average driver is actually much, much nicer. This one is lovely. It's a 1990 car. It's got the very desirable and very rare options of both the sunroof and the aircon, which hardly any of them got. It's also got a very good service history, and it's only done 135,000 miles. Now, we're estimating this car somewhere between 8 and 10. If you put that in the canon of where a good 911 sits, don't forget on a track, a 944S2 will probably spank a Carrera because of the weight distribution, the fact it's easier to pedal. It's got new Pirelli P6000 tires on. It's got the right wheels, the right color, the right spec, and I think it's one you should bid on. So Jules, let's give it a go. Thanks very much, Paul. Yeah, I think this is the, everything's right about this car. That's absolutely for certain. Interest here on my commission book on the 1990 Porsche 944S2. Starts your way, let's have a look at uh, four and a half five and a half thousand pounds bid with me at five and a half thousand on the 944 then at five and a half thousand pounds bid on my commission book and it's against you all ladies and gentlemen at just five and a half thousand absolute cracker here six and a half still with me tom at six and a half thousand pounds bid against you all in the room ladies and gentlemen at six and a half thousand pounds on the 944 lot of motor car here seven thousand five hundred still with me at seven and a half thousand pounds bid at seven and a half still on my commission book then on the 944 it's that 8,000 bid at 8,000 pounds. It's your bid at 8,000 pounds against all my commissions then at eight bid. In the room now on the 944 Porsche at 8,000 pounds against my commission, against your clients as well, Tom, at 8,000 pounds. I'll take 250 if that'll help you on the internet or anywhere else in the room at 8,000 pounds. It is provisional, submitting the bid at 8,000 pounds on the 944 then. Like Paul said, everything's right about this car. The only thing that was wrong was the camera. At 8,000 pounds, only bid at 8,000. Finished and done then, absolutely sure. It is provisional. Submitting the bid then at 8,000 pounds. Bid's in the room against you at home. We'll try for you at 8,000 pounds. Just need a paddle number if you have one. If not, that's not a problem. Thank you. Got that. Thank you. 59. Thank you at 59.
provisional at eight thousand pounds. Sixty nine was it sixty nine? Sorry about that. Sixty nine. No problem. Thanks for that, Tom. A couple of updates for you, ladies and gentlemen. Lot seventy, the Triumph Spitfire, fast road spec, sold away at eight and a half thousand pounds. And lot fifty eight, the Bentley T one, sold away at ten thousand five hundred pounds. Ooh, next lot. Oh, here we are. I've been looking forward to this one. Lot 74, 1982, Rover, SD1, two litre. Now, you will never come across this again in your life. 19,000 miles she's covered. One family ownership from new. Two litre auto, SD1 Rover. In totally original spec, including those steel wheels that were fitted to her in period. Recently serviced last year. Full book back on her as well. Again, I've got commissions falling off my book here. I'm straight in, no messing about at 32, 34, 36, 38, 4,200. We're on outright sale at 4,200 pounds. Bid with me at 4,200. 4,446. Still with me, sir, at 4,600. 48 your bid. All my commissions are out. At 4,800 pounds, bid in the room at 4,800. Fill it up to 5,000 if you want or anywhere else. 5,000. Fresh bidder in the seated area at 5,000. You sure, sir? I'll take 5 1. We're on outright sale. I don't think you'll find another with 19,000. Currently at 5,000 bid. At 5,000 pounds, only bid at 5,000. Like I said, I'll take 100 pounds as the next bid anywhere else. 5 1, you're back in, sir. Thank you. 5 2. You've said no once already. You might change your mind. If I, if I talk for long enough, you might change your mind again at 5,200 pound bid at 5 2. Still the seated bidder then at 5,200 pounds. Internet's very quiet, Tom. I'm gobsmacked at that at 5,200. Bid in the room. Absolutely sure everywhere else. I will sell her away. Outright sale. Family owned. 19,000 miles from New Rover SD1. Two litre automatic. Selling away then at 5,200. Yours, sir. Very well done. What a nice car. 315. Sold away at 5,200 pounds. Sold. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen. It's lot 75. 1987 Austin Mini Mayfair. Just 50,000 miles there or thereabouts. She's covered from new. Three former keepers, original specification, including the radio. Was recommissioned just last year. MOT tested to December. No advisories on that MOT test either. Let's have a look. Little mini Mayfair. Interest here starts you at 4,200. At 4,200 pounds, bid with me now at 4,200. On the mini Mayfair at just 4,200 pounds. Recommissioned just last year, ladies and gentlemen. No advisory MOT. At £4,200, bid at 4 2 Coming in, if you like, anywhere else. Maiden commission bids against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at just £4,200. Next bid's 4 4 if you want to come in. Currently at 4200 on the Mini Mayfair, against you all in the room. Absolutely sure, ladies and gentlemen, at just 4200 Looks very little money to your auctioneer at £4,200. 4 4 4 6 Still with me at £4,600, bid at 4600 at 4,600 pounds. Like I said, recommissioned just last year. Mini Mayfair, 50,000 miles from new. Three former keepers, four in total. Looks very bonny going round the roundabout there, that's for sure. What a nice car. At 4,600 pounds, but at 4,600. Coming in again, if you like, at home. Currently on my commission book then at 4,600 pounds. Last chance then. Finishing down then, are we at 4,600 pounds only? It is provisional at 4,600. Provision at 4,600, that is one, two, double, four. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalog is lot 76. Another one for you there, George. Lot 76 is the 1990 Peugeot 205 GTI 1.6. It's a very special edition, Sorrento Green edition with the original service books and the book pack, 12 entries in that service book, MOT till next March. There was only 300 of these Sorrento green editions produced by the factory. Has a number of upgrades fitted to it when new, including the sunroof. Interest here, starts your way at six and a half, seven bid at 7,000 pounds. Bid with me at 7,000. On the 205 GTI, at just 7,000 pounds bid at seven at 7,000 pounds. Coming in again, if you like, ladies and gentlemen, currently at 7,000 pounds. Thanks, George, at seven bid. On the 205 GTI, at just 7,000 pounds. Against you all in the room, ladies and gentlemen, against you on the internet as well, at 7,000, made in commission bids. 
Seven five, eight thousand. Still with me at eight thousand pounds. Bit at eight thousand. Still against you at home. Eight thousand five hundred. Eight seven fifty. Still with me at eight thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds. Bit at eight seven fifty. Still on commission. At eight seven fifty. Fill it up to nine if you want to at home. At eight thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds. Bid on the two hundred five GTI Sorento Green Limited Edition. At eight thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds. Nine thousand. I'm out now. With you now, Tom. At nine thousand pounds. Only bid at nine thousand. On the 205 GTI at £9,000, provisionally submitting the bid then for an answer, a yes or a no to the vendor at £9,000, coming in again if you like for another 250 or I will submit the bid at £9,000 on the internet then with Tom at £9,000, it's provisional. We will try for you there at home at £9,000, provisionally selling. 1518, thank you at home. Next lot is lot 77, the 1989 Bentley Turbo R. There we are. In the current ownership since 2010, MOT till March next year. 19 stamps, you can count them all off in the service booklet there. The majority of which are main dealer and Bentley specialists. MOT stickers back to 92. You get the idea, it's got a great history file here. Matching and correct Avon turbo speeds on it. Interest here on the Bentley Turbo R starts you away at just four and a half, five bid. At 5,000 pounds, bid with me at 5,000 on commission, ladies and gentlemen. Against you all at 5,000 pounds. On the Turbo R then at just 5,000. Five, five, I need 6,000. That's fine at 6,000. 6,250 is my bid. At 6,250 pounds, bid at 6,250. Six and a half, I'm out, sir. It's your bid in the room now. At 6,500 pounds on the Turbo R. At 6,500, 6,750. Take either of you at 7,000. Currently at 6,750 on the internet. Against you both in the room at 6,750 pounds. Coming in again if you like in the room on the Turbo R at 6,750. And it is provisional. Submitting the bid. 7,000. Great history file on this one. Loads and loads of invoices, MOTs. Work carried out in 2013 to 2014 alone cost £3,800. That was noted in your catalogue, but a great history file on her. At £7,000, only bid at £7,000. On the Bentley Turbo R, at £7,000. Coming in again, if you like, in the room. I'll take another 250 from you. Currently at £7,000, provisionally submitting the bid with Tom. On the internet then, 7250 Thank you at home, at 7250 And we're on sale, outright sale, at £7,250. No longer provisional. Selling her away at £7,250. Make no mistake at all. On the Turbo R, seven and a half. Thank you at home. Like I said, great history file. At £7,500, only bid at seven and a half. It's the history that makes these. They need to have been looked after over time. At seven and a half thousand bid. On the Turbo R then. Outright sale. Make no mistake at all. I'll take seven six to the underbidder if that'll help them. Currently at 7500 Selling away. Outright sale. Make no mistake at all at home. Last chance then, fair warning from your auctioneer. Look sharp if you want to come back in or I'm selling away at 7,500. Sold away at 7,500. Say that again, sorry. Sold to Cyprus, ladies and gentlemen. 2319. I'll deliver that one personally, I think. <sighs> Time for a jolly. Lot 78, Cyprus. Excellent news there. Lot 78. That's going to go, look good in Larnica, isn't it? Is it Larnica that's in Cyprus? I'm trying to rack my brain and remember where it is. Lot 78, 1989, Ford Sierra, 2.9 injection gear, 4x4 four four estate, rare piece of kit here. They weren't common in period, certainly not common now. MOT till October this year, good MOT history right the way back to 2008, showing around about 46,000 miles, original. Not been messed about with at all. Interest here on my book. Well, I've had a few commission bids. One of them was £1,900. So, you know, there's always a joker out there somewhere, isn't there? But I'm not going to take that one. I have had some more. Uh, I'm in at 42444648 at £4,800, bid at 4800 On the Ford Sierra, 2.9 injection gear, 4x4 four four estate at £4,800, bid with me at 4800 Against you all in the room at 4800 Coming in again, if you like, at just £4,800. Say five if you like, but at 4800 I have. Finishing done, absolutely sure. Made in commission bids against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at 4,800 on the Ford Sierra. Fill it up to five if you want to. Leaving it behind then at 4,800, 5,000. 
at 5,000 pounds bid, 5,2. Still with me at 5,200 bid. You're still out at home, I'm afraid. At 5,200 pounds. Rare car here at 5,200. Next bid's 5,4 if you want to come back in at home. Currently at 5,200 pounds. Finish and done then, are you? Fair warning from your auctioneer at just 5,200 pounds. Last shout then at 5,400. 50, I'm out now at 5,400. Provisionally submitting the bid at 5,400 pounds. Bids with you at home, ladies and gentlemen, against you in the room. Finish and done then, are you absolutely sure it is provisional? Submitting the bid with Tom then at 5,400. Provisional Tom, we will try for you at 5,400. 2486. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, in catalogue is lot 79, which is the 1997 Ford Probe 2 litre 16 valve. MOT till next March. Our vendor has owned the vehicle for the past 23 years. It has 24,000 warranted miles, totally original throughout, has been properly cherished throughout that ownership, has a brand new set of matching Continental tires, I noticed there as well. Absolutely loads of commissions, and I'm straight in at 4,200 pounds, bid with me at 4,2, at 4,200 pounds, on my commission book. No messing about, I've had loads of them. 4446. Still with me at 4,600 pounds, bid at 46. 48, 5,000. Still with me, Tom. At 5,000 pounds. Still on my commission book. 52, I'm out now. At 5,200 pounds, bid on the internet. You're all out, ladies and gentlemen. At 5,200 pounds, bid at 52. Can't get them on the telephone. We'll give you a chance, George. Right, we'll give you one more chance on the telephone then. At 5,200. Having difficulty connecting on the telephone. At 5,200 pounds. On the World Wide Web, against you all in the room, ladies and gentlemen. 5.3, I'll take it, thank you. 5.4, I'll definitely take that. At 5,400 pounds bid, internet against internet. Stay in those hundreds there, Tom, that's absolutely fine. At 5,400 pounds, I don't mind, once we're on sale, every little helps, as they say. Other supermarkets are available, but at 5,400 pounds bid at 5.4. On the internet, 5.5, five, still going at 5,005. 5.6, five, thank you. On the Ford Probe, can't get you on the telephone. Telephone's lost at 5,600 pounds bid at 5.6. Still on the World Wide Web. Fair warning to the underbidders. Like I said, 24,000 warranted miles in the previous ownership for 23 years. You'll not find another one. Doesn't matter how long you, will, you look. You won't find another one. Totally original. Looked after at 5,700. 5.7, five, isn't it? At 5,700 pounds bid at 5.7. Five, 5.8. Five, Still going at 5,800 pounds bid at 5.8. Five, at 5,800, I'll say it again, you won't find another one like this. Could turn every stone upside down at 5,800 pounds. Finish and done. Last chance then, absolutely sure. Fair warning at home, I'm selling her away then. At 5,800 pounds with you, Tom, on the internet at 5,8. Sold away at 5,800 pounds. 1,566. Has that gone to Cyprus as well? Dagenham. <laughs> Next lot is lot 80. Lot 80 is the 1980 Volkswagen Scirocco GLS. Restoration project, ladies and gentlemen. I used to, <laughs> I always keep going on about cars. I used to, everything I used to own is now worth loads of money. The problem was I kept selling them when they were only worth 500 pounds. Used to have a 1979 one of these. 1980 Volkswagen Scirocco GLS. Very nostalgic for me to have a sit back in this one. I sold mine in 19. 92, that one. That was after the, uh, after the Celica, actually, after the liftback Celica. Uh, yep, just four former keepers. It's got a great interior, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this one will look really good once you put it back. Not that messed about with at all. Uh, the engine does run, sounds very sweet. Runs and drives. I hope we're going to see it in the car park, actually. I'm not too sure whether we can. Believed to be only 40, licensed on UK roads currently. Uh, does have a bit of history with her, including all MOTs back to 1987. There we are, the Scirocco Restoration Project. Nothing on my book, which I can't believe, but there we are, running and driving. Start me away at 1500 on the Scirocco. Start me away at 1500. I'm not prepared to start to below that. Start me away at 1500 pounds on the Scirocco. Restoration Project, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing on my book. Start me away at 1500 pounds. Be an absolute cracker when she's done. Good color, good interior, just needs a clean. Not been torn, ruined, headlining's good. Start me away at 1,500 pounds on the Scirocco. 
Nobody come forward at all. Restoration Project, Volkswagen Scirocco, 1980, GLS. Against you all then in the room. Start me away at 1500. Can't possibly submit anything like that on the Scirocco then. Leaving it behind, shaking your heads in the room and on the internet then. That one is not sold, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. But please do have a word with us um, if you change your mind. But that is not sold at 1500 pounds. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 81, which was the 1970 Ford Escort 1300 Super, but that sold prior to the sale, again, for way over the top estimate. We sold that one at £17,000. That was lot 81, sold prior to the sale. We move on in your catalogue to lot 82, which is the 1993 Toyota Celica ST202. Early car here, Japanese, in, but they weren't actually sold in the UK in 1993, only in uh, the Japanese market, sold here in 94. Quite an early one, off the production line, showing 171,000 kilometers. That equates to 106,000 miles. March, next year, the MOT. Rare electric sunroof on her as well. Lots of history, decent history file there as well. Let's have a look on the Celica. Interest here with me, starts your way at 15, 16, 1700 bid. 1800, 2000, 22. Still with me at 2200 bid at 22. 2-4, I'm out now, 2,400 pounds, but in the room at 2-4. In the room, 2-6. You sure, at 2,600, I have one of these, genuinely, it's on, on the drive, at 2,600 pounds, but at 2-6. 2-8, good example here, I can assure you, 2,800 pounds, but at 2,800. Coming in again, if you like, anywhere else at 2,800, and that is provisional, at 2,800 pounds. I'll take 2-9 if that'll help anybody at 2,800 pounds on the Toyota Sleeker SD202, and I'm selling away. We've had the nod from the owner. Currently on sale, you owner, sir, at 2,800 pounds. Finish and done. Absolutely sure. Everywhere else, to nine, 3,000. Thank you. In the room at 3,000 pounds, bid at 3,000. At 3,000 pounds only bid. At 3,000 in the room, against you at home. Fair warning from your auctioneer, like I said, on outright sale. Nice example here. At £3,000 on the Celica, modern classic again. In a few years' time, you'll look back on this, and this will be for absolutely no money whatsoever. But I'm selling away. Gentleman's been in the room against you on the internet. 3 1, just in time. Whoa, 3150. I'll take it, sir. Thank you. At 3150. At £3,150. Against you at home. Make no mistake at all. Finished and done. Selling away. Fair warning at home. Gentleman's been in the room at 3150. I'm selling. Sold it, sir, at 3150. That is a good one. Like I said, I've got one at home. So, yeah, nice car there. 3150. Just need your paddle number, please, sir, if you don't mind. Roger? Roger, could you just ask the gentleman for his paddle? Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't apologize. 209. Thanks very much indeed. 209. Sold away at 3150. Sold. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 83. Lot 83 is the 1953 Austin A30 saloon. Originally supplied in South Africa, has been recently imported, so it's not been subject to all our salty roads for the last 60-odd, well, nearly 70 years, isn't it? So, yep, not a bad vehicle at all. Drives very well, presents very well. It is ready to jump into and drive. Interest here starts you at 16, 17, 1800 pounds. At 1800 pounds, bid with me at 1800. On the little Austin A30, recently imported from South Africa. At 1800 pounds, only bid at 1800. It's against you all at 1900, 2000. At 2001, I'm out now. At 2100 pounds, bid in the room at 2100. Against my commission then, at 2100. On the Austin A30, at just 2100. Absolutely sure everywhere else. On the little Austin, at 2100. 2-2, two, two, fresh bidder at 2,200 bid. You're out further back. At 2-2, two, two, fresh bidder. Thanks to your bids anyway. 2,200, thanks, Tom. 2-3, two, it's against you, sir. 2-4, thank you. Back in the game at 2,400 pounds bid at 2,400. On the Austin A30, my commissions are out. You're out at the back as well at 2,400 pounds. Finish and done everywhere else. I will submit the bid. It is provisional. 2-5. 2-6, thank you, sir. Still provisional. At £2,600 bid in the room. At £2,600. Shouts about missing you anywhere else. Look sharp at home. Fair warning from your auctioneer. Submitting the gentleman's bid in the room then. At £2,600, you're out at home. Provisional, sir. We will try for you, but we're not a million miles away. Just need your paddle number again, please. I've forgotten from earlier on.
Thanks for that. 269, 269. Thank you. 269, 2600 provisional. Thank you. Get an answer for you as soon as we possibly can. An answer we have had is the Mercedes Pagoda. Pagoda. <laughs> Lot 38 has sold away. The Mercedes 280SL sold away for £75,000. What a nice motor car that one was. And still is. Lot 84. In your catalogues, ladies and gentlemen, is the 2003 Jaguar XJ6 3-litre V6 SE. No reserve on this one whatsoever. It's a very nice example, though. Only two former keepers. MOT till next March. 3-litre V6 auto. Over £12,000 has been spent on the car over the past 12 years. Has wanted for nothing at all. In March this year, we've got a bills on file for £525. That shows you how she's been looked after. Uh, highly specified from the factory, including the glass, tilt and slide sunroof. Not an easy option to find with the original book pack as well. No reserve at all, so I'll have to start with my top commission, which is £850. At £850, bid with me at £850. At just £850. She's on sale, ladies and gentlemen. There's no reserve. At £850, bid with me at £850. 900, absolutely for nothing at 900 pounds. If you haven't looked at this, you're going to kick yourself all the way home. 950 at 950 pounds bid. 1,000, I've got in the room, Tom, at 1,000 pounds. Next bid's 1,100. 11 bid, 12 bid. Back in the room at 1,200 pounds, only bid at 1,200. 13, 14, 1,500. You're back in, sir, at 15. At 1,500 pounds bid at 15. Against you all on the internet at 1,500 pounds. Gentlemen's bid, remember, there's no reserve. 1,600. You sure, sir? Thanks for your bids anyway. It's £1,600 bid on the internet at £1,600. Don't know whether to have a bid myself, actually. At £1,600, looks absolutely for nothing. And I've had a good look at the car. At £1,600. You sure, Tom? Can't tempt you for another £100 note. At £1,600 bid at £1,600. And 50 says the gentleman in the room. £1,700, £1,800. Sorry about that, sir. At eight, I was thinking myself as well. I have had a good look at it. It is a cracker, isn't it? Absolute cracker. At £1,800, bid at eighteen hundred. But I have seven cars. I have no more room. No more room, unfortunately. The Ark's full, I'm afraid, back in Darlington. <laughs> at £1,800, bid on the World Wide Web. At £1,800, last chance in the room. For another £50 note, for eighteen fifty. Thank you, sir. You obviously don't have the same storage issue I have. At £1,900, I'm 50 at £1,950, fill it up to £2,000 a tome, and bid at £2,000, I'll stay in 50s. £2,050, thank you. Back in the room at £2,050, bid at £2,050. To one. I knew I should have added at 1500 quid. Never mind, at £2,100 bid. Finishing done, <laughs> selling away. Absolutely sure, everywhere else in the room, and 50 to 150 bid. 2,150 to two. You know you want to say yes, sir. And we've been friends for years on end. At 2,000. <laughs> I've forgotten where we were. 2,200. I'm 50, surely. Don't talk him out of it. 2,250. I was talking him into it. The 2,250 bid. At 2,250. 2,3. 2,350. Back in it. 2,350 pounds. Do you want me to unplug it? At 2,350, set to four. You nearly had it there. At 2,450. Finished and done. Have to hurry your tome. Selling away at 2,425. Oh, two, you sure? It is an absolute corker, this one. At 2,500. And 50 at 2,550 bid. Finish and done. Selling away at 2,550. 2,6. I'm trying for you, sir, at 2,6. Two, 2,7. Two, Against you at home. Fair warning, selling at 2,7. Sold at 2,700. I just ruined the rostrum there. <laughs> just need your number at 2,700. Sold away. 46. Thanks very much indeed. Oh, you owe me a beer for that one. If I, if I live long enough. Thanks very much. It's all the way at 2,700. Lot 85. <laughs> Lot 85. The 1969 Volkswagen Beetle 1300. There we are. All the restoration at Volkscraft Classics. Lots of invoices. Drives very well, so I'm told. The Volkswagen Beetle. Nothing on my book. Where do you want to be? Start my way at 3,000 on the Volkswagen Beetle. 
Start me away at 3,000 pounds. Volkswagen Beetle there, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing on my book. Start me at 3,000. All the restoration. Drives very well, so the uh, staff tell me. Start me away at 3,000. On the Beetle. Lovely interior on it there. At 3,000 pounds only. Surely start me away at 3,000. Against you all then. Finished and done. At 3,000 pounds. Nobody come for her then. On the Beetle at 3,000. I'll have to pass that one then, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a genuine interest in that one, please let us know. But that one has not sold, I'm afraid. Ooh. Lot 86, ladies and gentlemen. Lot 86. What have we got here? Oh, this is, this is the one they were going to let me drive, ladies and gentlemen. And the Fiat 500L, the restored shell, parts present to completer as well. Has a very well, it does genuinely have a very good panel fit. Rollback sunroof body shell as well. In primer, vendor does tell us all the parts are present. There's nothing we can see to uh, deny that. Uh, let's have a look on the Fiat 500. Interest here starts me at 16, 1700 bid at 1700 pounds. Bid with me at 1700 on the Fiat 500L shell. In primer, rolling shell with the parts to put it back together at 1700. 1800, 1900, still with me at 1900 pounds, bid at 1900. Fill it up to 2000 if you want her at home. At 1900 pounds, I have bid with me at 1900. 2000, I'm out now at 2000, bid with Tom on the internet at 2000 pounds. Against you on the telephone, Will, at 2000 pounds. Currently on the internet with Tom at 2000 pounds. You're out on the telephone, 2 1, thank you. You're in now at 2100 pounds, bid at 2 1. On the Fiat 500, rolling shell with the parts to put it back together. 2 2, internet bidder. 2 3, thank you. Straight back at you at the, on the internet, to be fair. At 2300 pounds, telephone bidder at 2 3. Provisional, submitting the bid at 2003. 2 4. 2 5, telephone with Will, thank you. At 2500 pounds, bid now at 2500. Against you at home, ladies and gentlemen. Against you, Tom. At 2500, I have. On the telephone. Against you, at home, 2-6. They're back in, Will, I'm afraid to say it. 2,600. It's against your telephone bidder. 2-7. Still going at 2,700 pounds, bid at 2,700. Coming in again, if you like, at 2,700. On Will's telephone at 2,700. And 2-8. At 2,800. Coming in again on the telephone. 2.9, I'm on outright sale at 2,900 pounds, bid at 2,900. No longer provisional at 2,900, against you. 3,000, thank you at home. At 3,000, bids back with you at home, ladies and gentlemen, at 3,000 pounds, on the rolling shell with the parts at 3,000. Coming in again on the telephone if you like. I'll take a 50 pound note. Oh, have they, oh, mic drop there. Dear me, at 3,000 pounds on the internet. It's with you, ladies and gentlemen, at home at 3,000 pounds. Give me a shout in the sale room if you want to come in, or I'm selling away at 3,000. Sold. Yours on the internet at 3,000 pounds. Two, four, six, seven. Thank you at home. Lot 87, ladies and gentlemen, is the 1989 Bentley 8. Entered from a deceased estate. Only reason she's with us, running and driving without any mechanical issues at all. You'll see her running on the video wall later. Uh, correct tires, lamb's wool over mats as well, has covered, according to the uh, history file, just 1,043 miles between 2006 and 2018. She's been in dry storage since, so will require some recommissioning. No warning lights on the dash whatsoever. Opportunity for you here, ladies and gentlemen. Low mileage showing a little under 75,000 miles. Interest here starts your way at 1,800, two bid. At 2,000 pounds, bid with me at 2,000. 2, 2, 2, 4. 2, 6, 2, 7. 2, 8 if you like, sir. Nope, still with me at 2,700. 2, 8, I'm out now. At 2,800 pounds, bid in the room at 2,800. From a deceased estate, 1989 Bentley 8 at 2,800. 2, 9. 3,000, thank you. Still your bid, sir, at 3,000 pounds. That's provisional. At 3,000 pounds, bid in the room at 3,000. I'll stay in 100 pound increments if that'll help them. Back at home, Tom, at 3,000 pounds in the room. Like I said, only with us come from a deceased estate. 3-1, 3, one, three two. At 3,200 in the room, I'm afraid. At 3,200, just a little bit quicker. Please bid quickly at home. 3-3, three, 3-4. Three, three, Back with a gentleman in the room at 3,400. Bid at 3,400. At 3,400, 3-5. Three, Internet, 3-6. Thank you. Back with you, sir, at 3,600. Very close to the reserve. 
at 3,600 pounds, bid at 3,600, 37, 38. I'm on outright sale, no longer provisional at 3,800 pounds, bid at 38. Low mileage, covered very little miles between 2006 and 2018, 4,000. Bid in the room at 4,000 pounds, Tom, against your client. At 4,000 pounds, against the internet at just 4,000. We're still on sale, remember, ladies and gentlemen, at 4,000. Four one. It's against you, gentlemen. Currently on the internet at four one. Thank you. Four two. Thank you very much indeed at four thousand two hundred. Bid in the room. Gentlemen's bid in the room at four thousand two hundred. Against you at home. Fair warning. Please look sharp. At four thousand two hundred. Four three. Four four. Thank you at four thousand four hundred pounds. Bid at forty four hundred. Still in the room at four thousand four hundred. On the Bentley then. At 4,400. Against you at home. Fair warning from your auctioneer this time. Selling away at 4,400. Yours, gentlemen, 282. Sold away at 4,400. Sold. Another update for you, ladies and gentlemen. Lot 76, the Peugeot 205 GTI Sorrento Green. Sold away at 9,500 pounds. Uh, lot 88, ladies and gentlemen, in your catalog. Lot 88 is the Jaguar XJS, four liter, just two former keepers. Four liter auto, June this year, the MOT, in the current ownership since 2005, no less. New headlining on it, original book pack. There we are, interest here starts me away at 18, 19, 2,000. At 2,000 pounds, bid with me at 2,000. On the XJS, at 2,000 pounds, only bid at 2,000. 2.2 two is your bid. At 2,200 pounds, bid on the internet at 2.2. On the XGS at just 2,200. Against my commission interest then at 2,200 pounds. On the XGS, four litre. Automatic, in the current ownership since 2005. There she is, running and driving. Looks a decent car there for just 2,200 pounds. Just two former keepers at 2,200. Finishing now, take 2.3 if that'll help anybody else. Currently at 2,200 pounds. 2-3, thank you. Fresh bidder on the internet at 2,300 pounds, bid at 2-3. At just 2,300 pounds. On the internet then at 2,300. Finish and done then, are we? You're absolutely sure. Fair warning to the underbidder at 2,400 now, thank you. At 2,400 pounds, provisionally submitting the bid. At 2,400 pounds, like I said, very little money. MOT till June. Two former keepers in the current ownership since 2005. New headlining, 2-5. Still going at 2,500 pounds, but at 25. Lots of positives here at 2,500. Running and driving, there she is, going round the roundabout. Round the magic roundabout at 2,500 pounds, bit at 2,500. <laughs> at 25. Coming in again, if you like, fair warning to the underbidder. I'll take 50, Tom. If that'll tempt them, can't go any lower than that. Well, we can, but I'm not going to. At 2,500, finish and done. It is provisional. Submitting the bid then at 2,500. We will try for you. It is provisional at 2,500. 2,157. Thanks very much indeed on the internet. We'll let you know as soon as we can. Lot 89 is the 1987 Alfa Romeo 2-liter Spider, Freshly imported from the dry state of California. Manual transmission on this one. Original specification. Has had a new hood and rear green as well. Nice alloy wheels on her as well. Good color combination, isn't it? Let's have a look. Alfa Romeo Spider. Interest here. It starts me at six and a half thousand pounds. Bid at six and a half thousand. On the Alfa Spider at six and a half thousand pounds. On my commission book then, ladies and gentlemen, against you in the room at just six and a half thousand. Coming in again if you like. At six and a half thousand pounds. Maiden commission bids against you all. Recent import at six and a half thousand. Can't tell if you're bidding gentlemen at the back there or if you're just pretending you're driving it with the gearbox like the lever right up there at six and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> Finish and done then. I've driven one myself. They're a bit odd. At six and a half thousand, seven thousand, five hundred. Still with me, Tom. At seven and a half thousand pounds, bid at seven and a half. At just seven and a half thousand pounds. On my commission book then. Against you at home. Make no mistake. Recent import from California. Dry state. At seven and a half thousand. Coming in again if you like. I'll take 750. Jim's turn round the roundabout there, I see, in the Alpha. At 7,750, I'm out now. At 7,750 bid on the World Wide Web. Coming in on the telephone now, if you like. Shaking your head. Thanks anyway, Will, for joining in. 
at £7,750 on the internet, provisional. Submitting the bid then against my commission interest at £7,750. We'll try for you at home. That is provisional at £7,750. 2587. Thank you at home. Next lot is lot 90. 1951. Austin A40 Devon. Recent engine work in the history file for £552. New tyres and tubes, just last year, that cost just under £700. Chrome Honor presents very well indeed, showing just 39,000 miles. Starts on the button, everybody tells me she's ready to jump into and enjoy. Interest here starts you away at uh, 3,000, 32468. At 3,800 pounds, bid with me at 3,800. On my commission book then at 3,800 pounds. On the Austin Devon at 38. At just 3,800 pounds, bid at 38. Coming in again, if you like, at 3,800. Fill it up to four if you want to, ladies and gentlemen, at 3,800 pounds. On my commission book then, you're all very quiet in the room and on the internet at 3,800 pounds, 4,200. Still with me at 4,200 pounds, bid at 42. Coming in, if you like, anywhere else. Just a little bit too slow at home on the internet. I've taken the telephone and then my commission at 4-2. At 4-4. Four, four. Oh, still too slow at home. 4-6. Still with me at 4,600 pounds, bid at 4,600. 4-8. Four, I'm out now. Currently your bid, Will. You've taken the commission out at 4,800 pounds, bid at 4-8. Against your clients now, Tom, at 4,800 pounds I have. Against my commission. It's gone. At £4,800, £5,000. Internet bid now at £5,000. On the Austin Devon, at £5,000. And I'm submitting the bid at five two. It is provisional at £5,200. Still on the telephone at five two. You're out at home, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid. At £5,200. What's it looking like, Tom? At five two. Try five three. I'm going to submit the high bid anyway. So £5,200 bid at £5,200. At just £5,200 on the telephone. It's against you at home, ladies and gentlemen. At £5,200, finish and done then, absolutely sure. It is provisional with Will's telephone clients at £5,200. Provisional Will will try for them at £5,200. 2008, thank you, 2008. I need to improve my handwriting. They used to say that at school. Lot 91, lot 91. 1975, Morris Marina, 1.3 SDL Coupe. Coupe Morris Marina, these are cool cars, aren't they? Just 59 licensed on the road in the UK, it says here in my notes. Has the uh, Triumph Dolomite Sprint Alloys on her there. Period colour as well, of course, there. Original dealer window sticker. There we are, Morris Marina. Interest here starts you at just 18, 19, 2,100 bid. At 2,100 pounds, bid with me at 2,100. Against you all then, ladies and gentlemen, at 2,100. And it is provisional at 2,100 pounds on the Marina Coupe at 2,100. Coming in, if you like, anywhere else at just 2,100 pounds. Bids with me, it's against you everywhere else at 2,100 pounds at 2,100. Absolutely sure in the room, absolutely sure at home at 2,100. 2,2, two, two, I'm out now at 2,200 pounds. Bid in the room at 2,200 pounds. Against my commission interest, I'm submitting the bid. It is provisional then against you all at 2,2. Two, two. We'll try for you at 2,200 pounds. 55, thanks very much indeed. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot... Oh, I'll give you a couple of updates before we do that. Lot 69, the Porsche 928, sold away at £10,000. Lot 83, the little Austin A30 that came from South Africa, clean as a whistle, sold away for £2,600. You bought that one, sir, very well done. Sure you'll have a lot of fun in that one, what a great little car. Uh, next lot is lot 92. Lot 92 is the Ford E83W van, complete and ready for reassembly. She has been a previous show winner just at Tatton Park, uh, just in 2019, was stripped down to be repainted. Uh, everything's there to put her back together. Uh, buff log books with her as well, last running in December 2021. There we are. Ford van, interest here, thanks George, another one there to announce in a moment. Uh, Ford van, Let's have a look. Interest here starts you at 444648. At 4,800 pounds, bid with me at 4,800 pounds. On the Ford van, at 4,800 against you all in the room at 4,800. Coming in again if you like. Fill it up to 5,000 if anybody wants. We're currently at 4,800. On the Ford van, ladies and gentlemen, at just 48. Previous show winner, ladies and gentlemen. Very recently at 4,800 pounds. 5,000. Thank you, gentlemen. 52. Still with me at 52. 54 if you like. 
Five, four, thank you. Five, five is my bid. I'll take five, six from you, gentlemen. Five, six, my commissions are out at 5,600 pounds, bid in the room at 5,600. Ready to be put back together at just 5,600 pounds on the Ford van at 5,600 pounds. Finish and done, it is provisional. I will submit the bid. We're a little way off, gentlemen, but you never know. We've been selling quite a few today at 5,600. It is provisional in the room at 5,600 pounds. Last chance then, provisional with the gentleman in the room at 5,600. Try for you, sir. Just need that paddle number. I can't quite see it. It's rolled up there, 280. 280 at 5,600 pounds. Let you know as soon as we can. Once we've spoken to the vendor, another update for you. Lot 63, the Austin 10, uh, Sherburn, Sherburn, however you pronounce it, sold away at 2,600. Next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is lot 93, which is the 1965 Hillman Minx Saloon. Just three previous owners on the Hillman Minx MOT till uh, September this year. With the Buff Logbook, good MOT history on this one. If you've had a look through the history file, nothing on my book, I'm afraid, for the Hillman Minx. Start me away at £2,000. On the Hillman Minx, start me away at £2,000. On the Hillman Minx, ladies and gentlemen, at just 2000 For a start somewhere, surely where in the room? Or anywhere around the globe? Two bid at £2,000, only bid at 2000 on the Hillman Minx, ladies and gentlemen, at £2,000. A lot of motor car there for just £2,000. MOT till this September, ladies and gentlemen, showing 82,000 miles with the service book and the owner's manuals. Period spotlights on her there. Fully running and driving at just £2,000. Coming in again if you like. 2-2, two, two. I've got you in the room at 2200 Thank you, sir. At 2-2 two, two bid at just £2,200. Looks absolutely for nothing to your auctioneer at 2-2. Two, two. Coming in again if you like at home. Please look sharp at home at 2,200 pounds. On the Hillman Minx then. 2,4, internet. 2,6, thank you sir, at 2,600 pounds. Look great next to the A30. At 2,600 pounds, bid at 2,6. 2,8, at 2,800 pounds, bid at 2,800. At 2,800 pounds, still on the internet sir. I'll take 2,9 if that'll help you. Keep you in the game. Currently at 2,800. 29. Back in the room at 2,900. Fill it up to 3,000 if you want it at home. Three bid on the Hillman Minx. Thanks very much indeed for your bids anyway. At 3,000 pounds bid on the internet. At just 3,000 pounds. Give me a shout, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to come in anywhere else or fair warning from your auctioneer submitting the bid on the internet then at 3,000 pounds. It's against you, sir, at 3,000 pounds on the internet. 3 1. Fresh bidder from nowhere. From nowhere on the internet. Internet against internet bidding at 3,100. 3,2. 3, Still going at 3,200 pounds bid at 3,2. Looking more respectable now on the little Hillman Minx at 3,200 pounds bid at 3,2. Finish and done then, are you? You're absolutely sure at 3,200 pounds. 3,3. Three. It's a bit zen like this, isn't it? Watching them and waiting for them. 3,300 bid on the internet at 3,300. Get no feel for anybody's body language, Simon, at all. 3-4 at 3,400. At 3,400 pounds, but at 3-4. Try a small one. Oh, 3-5, we didn't need to. At 3,500, bit at 3,500. Creeping towards the reserve at 3,500. At 3,500 pounds, bit at 3-5. Try another 50 there if we haven't already. At 3,500. We'll see what we can do for you, Tom. We'll try another 50 pounds for you. At 3,550. Thank you at home. At 3,550 pounds on the Hillman Minx. At 3,550. Can't be fairer than that, can we? Getting into 50 pound increments. 3,6. At 3,600 pounds. Still going at 3,600. At 3,600 pounds. We might get there, Roger. At 3,600. It's a long, long road. Long and winding road. <laughs> at 3,600 pounds. Finish and done. You're absolutely sure at home for another 50 pound note. Or I'm submitting the bid. 3,650. Thank you at home. At 3,650 pounds bid against you all in the room, remember, just shout if you suddenly decide you want to come in. At 3,650 pounds bid, finish and done at home. Fair warning then from your auctioneer. It is provisional this time. At 3,650, I'm submitting the bid. Provisional at 3,650 pounds. One, nine, and nine, nine. 1999. Party like it's 1999 in your Hillman Minx. Then there you go. That should be the headline, shouldn't it? <laughs> Lot 94. Lot 94. 
Oh, last ride home of the day, and what an absolutely fabulous ride home this is. Austin Allegro, 1.3 El Saloon. It's the Allegro 3, ladies and gentlemen, if you weren't aware of that. Just 25,000 miles there or thereabouts she's showing, complete with the original bill of sale, loads of paperwork and history there in the history file, original book pack as well, just two previous owners. She's MOT till next week. What isn't there to like about this car? Austin Allegro, interest here at 2,800, three bid. At 3,000 pounds, bid with me at 3,000. On the Austin Allegro, against you all, ladies and gentlemen, at just 3,000. Made in commission interest at 3,000 pounds, against you all. 25,000 miles from you at just 3,000 bid. On the Austin Allegro, Series 3. On my commission book, ladies and gentlemen, it's against you Last ride home at 3,000 pounds. Absolutely sure in the room. Leaving her behind then. Leaving her behind around the globe as well at just 3,000 pounds. It is provisional then at 3,000 pounds. I'll submit the bid at 3,000. Provisional at 3,000 pounds. That's double one, double one. And thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen, for your kind attention to bids. But I nearly forgot lot 88. Just before we go, lot 88, the Jaguar XGS sold away at 2,500 pounds. So yes, thanks very much indeed for your kind attention to your bids whether you traveled to the sale room or whether you joined us anywhere around the globe. Hope you had a little bit of fun. If you didn't buy anything, we do it all again. Our next sale, Roger, Roger, our next sale is 9th, 10th of July. 10th of July, so we do it all. 9th of July, <laughs> sorry, it's up there now, 9th of July. Saturday night, I'm only the auctioneer. I'm just special guest star. I know absolutely nothing whatsoever. So 9th of July, we hope to welcome you again then. Thanks very much indeed. Safe journey back home wherever you're going. Thanks very much for that.